50 gifted free Noni, what the f- A-Rock! Dub in the chat, holy shit, thank you for the fucking subs! Take them if you got a sub, thank you for the 50 gifted, A-Rock, what the fuck, bro? I just went live! everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Tuesday before I even get into what the fuck we're doing W in the chat for fucking a rock 10 buddy came out fucking swinging for the 50 subs oh my god a rock 10 thank you for the gifteds bro wow wild jail for the five gifteds not Pico AC Devin Cody D Bauer Jonathan a rock for the, another round of subs dude how many did you even send I can't even tell thank you for the subs Wild Brady, Alex for the sub, Rex Arena for the three. You were taking too long, so I tuned into Strawberry Tabby's stream for a bit. Is she actually live? I thought she got banned. Oh my god, she's live. <laughs> but he got bored. He tuned into another stream there. Oh, I thought she got banned. Why old and Brady for the sub? I guess she's back. It was probably because she she was like on the line of TOS and so they banned her, but like they didn't technically tell her she couldn't do what she was doing. A Rock though, thank you for the fucking subs. Oh my god. Um hold up. D Bauer and Devin for the sub, AC for the sub, A Rock again for the fucking I don't even know how many subs you gave, man, but thank you for the fucking subs. Holy shit, it's like covering my entire mini feed. Jungle Berries for the sub. Blank for the sub. Teal for the three. Lucas for the five. Uh, hey, Joe. Mr. Angle is my TikTok. Sorry for what he did. Oh, so Mr. Angle is my brother. Sorry for what he did. Why did I say TikTok? Is my brother. Dauntless for the three. Endless Arrow for the sub. Peyton for the three. Dauntless for the five. Will and Clayton for the sub. She loved for the three. My girlfriend broke up with me today of four years. F in the chat. Lost. I don't know what I should do. Where do I go from here? I mean, you got to give yourself some time, man. If it happened today, obviously, you're not going to fucking be able to just get over that shit, you know? Uh, Clay for the sub. Um, what I would say is you just, you know, you got to focus on yourself. Uh, Four-year relationship's very long, so I'm sorry you're going through that, man. But, you know, give it some time. Uh, and I would say, you know, hang out with friends, focus on yourself. Don't hop right into a relationship too soon. I mean, it's going to hurt, man. You've been, in, you've been with somebody for four years. There, there's nothing around that. But I think it's more so accepting the situation... Uh, and trying to move forward rather than, you know, dwelling on it. I mean, obviously, regardless, it's still going to suck. It's just how much it's going to suck, you know. Big for the sub floating for the three. I'm on the bus right now, but the fact of the day, uh, 16, one strand of hair can hold up three ounces of weight. I just don't believe that. Oh, if you're saying you're, you're hanging it. I thought you meant if it's like sideways. Braden for the three. Uh, love you, Joe. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you and salty unreal. Oh my fucking God. Salty and Real came in with the $325 and fucking 95 cent dono. The 50 gifted is nothing. Do some scary games today. I'll be tuned in. Yo, Salty, I'm playing your Roblox game tomorrow. I don't know if anybody told you that, uh, but I should be playing your Roblox game tomorrow. I'm doing scary reacts at the end of the stream today, uh, but today we're doing Ready or Not. Uh, we're going to be doing the school shooter mission. Uh, after that, we're going to be tuning in to, uh, Suck Up. We're going to be playing their new, like, uh, relationship game mode where you have to, like, get people to break up, uh, which is, like, pretty, uh, you know, interesting, I guess. We'll see how fun it is. Uh, but the first game mode they had was mad fun. You guys loved it. I loved it. Uh, it's like an AI game. It, like, it, it just basically responds to whatever the fuck you say in your mic, which is pretty sick. But, um, thank you for the fucking massive dono, bro. We're going to be playing your game tomorrow. I don't know what time. Uh, but we're going to be doing itch.io horror. We're going to be doing Roblox horror. We're going to do your game then as well. Uh, and then we're going to do Escape the Backrooms with Max. Uh, Thursday, I'm not live. I'm getting a tattoo. Friday's React. Saturday's VR. Sunday's React. Monday, we're going to be doing the... Uh, we're going to do Minecraft, not the Minecraft world because we finished it yesterday. But we're going to be doing um, a horror mod in Minecraft. Uh, so it's going to kind of be like a scary game day, I guess. 
Uh, and then next Tuesday, the South Park game drops, so I'll be live then as well. But, dude, thank you for the fucking $300 dono, man. That's, like, actually wild. Steve and Amp for the sub. Uh, Polar for the three. Do you use a capital for the first letter of a sentence when you're texting? Yeah. Who doesn't? Dude, when... Oh, my God. If you're one of those people... Hold on. I gotta pause this, bitch. How do I fucking turn down this, like... I'm gonna exit out of the game real quick. If you're one of those people that has that shit where it doesn't auto-capitalize your, your sentence... Why? Why? You're, it's not... It's what, what the fuck is the point of that? Right? Auto... Or just... I don't, I'm not going to type the capital, right? But I will capitalize the first letter of every sentence. That's a thing. Yeah, in, in your settings, you can, like, turn off auto-capitalization. And there's a lot of people that do that. And then they just type in all lowercase. And I'm like, why? It just looks odd, you know? Emily for the sub romper for the thousand biddies. I mean, there's probably been times where it doesn't auto-capitalize it. And it's just, like, uncapitalized. But for the most part, yeah, I'm capitalizing every fucking first letter. I was just watching a Val stream from you, then I saw the notification, clicked on it, gotta be a great stream. Thank you, Aiden and Ryan and Retrora for the sub. We're gonna be streaming for about three and a half, four hours today, chat, um, on a Tuesday, which I'm normally not live in, but that's just because I'm not gonna be live this Thursday. But we're also gonna be posting on YouTube. Today, tomorrow on the gaming, today on the main, tomorrow, Thursday on the main, Friday on the main, Saturday I'm not posting, it's Sunday on the main. So we're gonna be posting a lot uh, today, but we're gonna be streaming a lot as well, so... Uh, are we ready to lock in here, chat? We're starting out with ready or not today. I know today's uh, kind of been a hectic start. I didn't really fucking say what the hell I was doing until five minutes in. But Salty, that was because of Salty and fucking um, all the gifted that I got from not only William, but especially A-Rock, who gave fucking, you know, like a hundred subs. Sky for the sub, deep hour for the five. Going to see Dune 2, so fire. I still have to watch Dune 1. I ain't no preppy bitch. I got that shit turned off. I never type in caps. It's not preppy to have proper grammar. If you just, if you're like typing a sentence and it's, it's like, you know, you're saying, hey man, when are we going to the bar? And you type a, a lowercase h, I'm going to be annoyed, right? Like it's, it's going to, it's not going to be an active thing, but I'm going to subconsciously be kind of triggered. Sky and Wumbo for the sub. Uh, but yeah, chat, we're doing Ready or Not today. We're going to be doing the school shooter mission that we've been waiting to fucking get to. Uh, we've been doing the story. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the Ready or Not streams, it doesn't really matter because all the missions are entirely separate from one another. Um, you're basically like a SWAT team that has to respond to like certain situations. Uh, all the ones that we've done so far is like, uh, we've done hostage missions. We've done drug rings. We've done somebody that tried to kill the president. We did one where they had like child trafficking. We did one with, like, a legal substance shit. I don't even know what the fuck it was. Uh, and now we're doing, uh, I believe, a school shooter at a community college. Uh, so we're going to be going in uh, and trying to solve that. I mean, we'll get more info as we, we do that. But, you know, I'll break into my character, clear the mission. You know, it might take us a fucking few tries. We'll run predictions on it. Uh, and then after that, we'll get more into Suck Up, uh, where we'll play the new game mode. And then we'll do some scary reacts. Uh, there's actually a new FNAF um, scary react that just came out, or not scary, I'm saying scary react, scary video called The Horror Attraction by Baddington, came out three weeks ago, it's supposed to be one of the best ones they've ever made, uh, if it sucks, we'll obviously just watch other shit, but I mean, the FNAF ones are pretty good, so we'll be watching that, um, later in the stream, that'll be not near the end, but like closer towards like the latter half of the stream, salty for the five, I did not donate to advertise my thing, I misread the title from scary reacts to scary games, no, you're not even, I, I didn't even think you were advertising it. I'm just letting you know, because I didn't know if you knew. I, I'm i playing your game before or after the dono. I'm still playing uh, Roblox uh, for the first time tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to be playing your horror game, uh, as well as some other shit. Maybe Doors. Would you guys want me to play Doors tomorrow? It's TOS. I don't think the school shooter uh, mission is TOS. I believe all of Ready or Not is completely fine. Uh, I have seen very crazy things in this game, and I have not gotten a warning from Twitch yet for Ready or Not, uh, and a bunch of people play it, so we'll, we might run doors tomorrow as well. Fart and Brunsky and I'm a message for the sub. What is Suck Up? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll explain it more once we get to it, but it's basically like an AI game. Uh, it's like kind of showing a new classification of game that there is, and, uh, the original game mode, you were a vampire, and you had to go door to door and convince people to let them into your house to kill them. And you, I would talk into my mic, and the AI would have responses, and they have, like, personalities built into them, where it's, like, one of them's, like, Elon Musk, and you have to convince them in different ways, you know? 
And this one, uh, this game mode, you have to, like, break up couples or something like that. So I have to, like, convince them that they are not meant for each other, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Foxman for the fuck. Foxman for the 4,100 biddies. What the fuck? Now I have 100k bits sent to Joe. W Foxman. Also, happy birthday, Foxman. I believe it's your birthday, right? Happy birthday, Foxman. I think you told me yesterday that it was going to be your birthday today. If I'm correct on that, happy birthday, Foxman, in the chat. Thank you for the fucking 4,000 biddies, brother. Brayden for the three. What tattoo are you getting and where? I got my first out on June 7th last year, and now I have, like, 14. Uh, I'm probably going to get two. One right under my chest on, like, the side uh, of my rib cage. It's going to say Memento Mori in Seagram font with, like, uh, an alive rose and a wilting rose. Uh, and then the other one, I might get, like, non-ents on my forearm. Uh, in Latin. Uh, the anime and super for the sub. All right, chat, are we ready to fucking lock in for the game today? The games today, plural? Yay or nay? Ah. The anime for the sub. Why are people saying Unis Anis? In response to what I said. Oh, because of Memento Mori? Chat for the sub, honey, for the three. Uh, I don't think you remember me, but I was the chatter who went to Guatemala and I got back on the 10th this morning. My dumbass left my passport on the bus and almost got stuck in Guatemala. That would be fucking horrifying. I think the worst thing that could happen when you're traveling is losing your passport. Um, you're getting Memento Mori tattooed on you? Yeah, it means remember that. Uh, burger for the sub. Joe's live today because he isn't live on Thursday. Yeah, I know. I, I, I feel like... <laughs> Why are you saying that, Blue Tiger? Did somebody ask? All right, lock in here, chat. Um, I already explained the game. You know, it's like uh, you're basically a SWAT team that's like, you know, handle a bunch of scenarios. But uh, you also have your team. You have to be basically keep track of your team. It's not just me. Uh, I have a group of guys that, like, work for me. Uh, and, you know, they're, pr they're in pretty bad shape right now, to say the least. A lot of them are uh, a little anxious, you know, a little stressed out. Uh, so we're going to swap them out for some of our more uh, content guys. The more stressed out they get, the more likely they are to, like, fuck up uh, and make bad decisions. Um, they don't really think for themselves. I control them. But if an enemy shows up, that's when they kind of, like, activate their AI mind and they can, like, fuck up if they're more stressed. Like, if I throw a guy in crisis with me, he'll probably get somebody killed. Uh, so that's usually bad. You got to send him to therapy or you fucking hire him. Or, or not hire him. Fire them. Uh, so I'm going to send some of these guys. I'm going to have to get one of my anxious guys... Uh, in with me, uh, which is gonna suck, but, uh, it should be fine if I have three content and one anxious guy. I don't know how hard this mission's gonna be. I'm presuming it's gonna be pretty hard, because I, I think I have to go through an entire college. Uh, so we'll see how fucking terrifying this is. Uh, lock in here. Let's get a little fucking brief rundown. These are all the missions that we've done. Uh, this was a gas station. That one was the easiest fucking mission in the world. Uh, we just did this one, uh, which was fucking wild. And one of the rooms, one of my chatters told me afterwards, one of the rooms had, like, dead kids shoved in, like, vats, and I didn't notice it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't notice that, but, like, there was, like, a room where they, like, shoved kids into barrels or something like that, and we just, just no one noticed. It did. Yeah, no, I, I didn't even fucking see it. Uh, but now we're in this one. Watt Community College. Uh, the mission is titled Elephant. Uh, an active shooter has been reported in a community college. Time is critical. Move fast. Now, you know this is going to be a hard mission because the hardest missions always have multiple entrances because it's a very large area. Like, this one only had one, and we did that in a few tries. Same thing with these. Like, the, the ones that are harder usually tend to have uh, multiple entrances. Where should we go in here, chat? Um, you can listen to the brief in the police station. Can I really? Oh, you think if I select it, I can listen to the brief in the police station? Let's go in the southern entrance. Oh, shit! All right, everybody, settle down and listen up. We've got active shooters in the Watt Community College campus. From what we know right now, they are contained inside the science wing. But we all know that could change. We've had numerous reports coming in, and we know there are victims dead and alive. All right. We don't have time to mess around on this one. Yep. How many shooters are there? We don't know exactly. The reports have been varied, but we do know there are at least two, but probably more. 
Two campus security off. And the issue is is determining who's I'm pro there's probably going to be so many innocent civilians. There's only two fucking objectives here, chat. There's only two fucking objectives. Bring order to chaos and rescue all civilians. You know how many fucking people I'm probably going to You know how many innocent people I'm probably going to shoot in this? God, why are they fogging up? Hold up. There's so many civilians in this mission. I what's well, a fucking college. So it's probably just going to be an obscene amount of people. I, I'm wondering if they're going to make me arrest every single person. Uh, I doubt that. Ooh, you think they're going to try and blend in? They'll do that sometimes. That'll be fucking scary. Officers are at the scene. We don't know where, but we've got their details. And one is former LSPD. Do we have contact with them? No. We got the info based on what one of the 911 callers provided, and we don't have time to wait. Somebody's spamming play R6. Josh, I'm going to time you out for a little bit there, brother. If you want me to play a game, you can send it in the game suggestion tab on Discord. This is what I'm going to tell you, though. In about two weeks, we're going to play Rainbow Six. I have a day written in my schedule on when we're going to play it. Um, I have it all set up. Uh, we're going to be running Rainbow, as promised, from the charity stream. You guys voted on a game for me to play, uh, or two games for me to play. I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, and Rainbow. Rainbow's gonna be brutal. Uh, I think Rainbow's, even though I'm probably gonna suck absolute horse cock at fucking Rainbow, I think I'm still gonna enjoy it more than Doki, because Doki Doki is like a love horror novel, and it is abhorrently cringe. Um, it is unbearable, uh, for me. Uh, we've tried it once before. Uh, I got about 10 minutes in, and then there was like a club, and the guy walks in, and he goes, oh my god, there's so many cute girls here. And I went, yeah, I'm done with this. And then and then deleted the game. Uh, so now you guys are forcing me to play it. Um, and, you know, we'll run that in about like a... I think it's like not this upcoming Thursday. Uh, or not th not next Thursday, the Thursday after that. So in like two weeks. Sunny and liberal for the sub message for the three. Don't chat much, but I've been following for two years, seven months. Want to show my support? Dub. Uh, Brayden for the three. The tat's got to hurt on the side, but I have a great stream. Oh yeah, no, I know. I don't want to think about it, though. You know what I would love? Why can't they do this? Why can't they tattoo unconscious people? Why is that illegal? I mean, it seems kind of obvious, but, like, if I was unconscious, I wouldn't feel the pain. Like, I've never really had a tattoo that I was, like, going to cry in pain. Like, I have four tattoos. None of them made me, like, cry, but some of them made me go, like, and make that sound because it hurts like a bitch, you know? Nolan for the five gifteds! Thank you for the five gifteds! I feel like if... I feel like I should be able to opt for, like, them to knock me the fuck out. You know? Like, hey, I want this tattoo. Give me, like, m morphine. Not morphine. That shit that they put over your face when you're about to get surgery, and then they start asking you questions, and then you fucking fall asleep and teleport nine hours into the future and wake up. One of those. They do do that? Do they really? I feel like they're not allowed to. I feel like I've heard that before. Mello for the three. First time watching your stream, you probably got to sign a bunch of contracts for that. God, for the sub. Nolan, thank you for the five gifted though. All right. Lock in for the rest of this. We need to lock down that wing and close ground on them ASAP. I want you all to be ready. We're working to see if we can find a possible location based on the calls we're getting and the rooms the callers are in. But we're moving fast. If we don't have it when we pull up, we're going in without it. What are our entry points? The science wing has three main entrances. I want to hit all three at once. We're not giving them a chance to get out once we arrive. We've got uniforms coming in, too, locking down the campus and doing all the footwork. It should be obvious, but we're going in with lethal force, boys. These assholes are shooting kids. My kid went to this college, goddammit. My kid went to this college, goddammit. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of them. Those are three right there in one fucking image. 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? <laughs> What is your emergency? I need help. Can you tell me what's wrong? I'm hiding. There's blood. There's so much blood. Okay, I'm going to need you to stay calm. It's gonna be TOS. Do you know where you are? No. The way she's describing this, I feel like it's gonna be a fucking war zone when I walk in here. They don't. No, I mean, where are you? Hiding. In a, in a cupboard. They came in and just started shooting. Yo, chat, school shooter breaks out. Where are you hiding? 
I'm going in the vents. I'm going in the vents. I've thought about this. If I'm in the bathroom, I'm fucking, you know how, you know how when you're in a, you're in the bathroom, every school has those weird rectangular fucking like foam fucking ceiling things. Fucking slide one of those bitches that are right, fucking hop up and I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the ceiling, dude. My, my fear though is like, they'd hear me, you know how like vents are like really thin metal. They'd hear like, whoop, 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 and then they'd just go, bang. And then I'd fucking fall out of the ceiling. That would be really fucking awkward, too. Imagine that. There's a school shooter, and I'm crawling through the vents, and they hear me. And then, like, as they hear me, I just collapse into the fucking, into the ground, and they're just, like, staring at me. Forget hiding. Oh, realistically, I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip. I had a school shooting threat at my school when I was in high school. Because some kid was in the gymnasium talking to his friend. He was like, imagine how easy it'd be to fucking kill everybody here. I was like, but he didn't say it in like a concerned way. He was like, he's like, imagine how fucking easy it'd be able to just mow everyone down. I'm like, whoa, dude. Whoa. I'm like, yo, that's fucking, you know, you talk about fucking killing everybody. I mean, I've said when I was in high school, I remember saying, yo, the bomb threat shit really has really blows my shit. Right. You ever, you, do you guys have bomb threat drills? When they, th when they call in a bomb threat, you, where do you go? Where does your school go? My school would go to the football field. And in my mind, I'm like, any school shooter with a brain larger than a peanut would call a fucking bomb threat and then wait in the football field and just kill everybody. Like, why, or, or fire drills, right? Pull the fire alarm and then just wait outside. Like, and you've said this before? Yeah, and I'm allowed to repeat myself, Oliver. I'm allowed to repeat myself on stream from fucking time to time, buddy. Oh, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm only allowed to say you're giving them ideas? Dude. And see, whenever I talk about school shooters and, like, my concerns, motherfuckers are always like, you're giving them ideas. You're acting like they're, like, a fucking NPC, dude. You're acting like, you're acting like a school shooter is like a, that has the brain of a fucking tw a second grader and can't think logically, right? Holy shit. Like that's fuck. It like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not bringing it up in the sense of like, oh yeah, I'm trying to give them ideas. I'm saying it's a genuine concern, you know? You're fucking, you're talking about, hey, they're going to call in a bomb threat. Now everybody's in one place. That's also not safe. Or what if they just planted bombs on the fucking field? The majority of people that are shooting up schools go to that fucking school. Test for the summer went there. Polar for the three. If you're in a gym at my school, if you go under the very top bleachers, there's a little secret door you could go in and it's very hard to find. Slay for the three. Breaking the window, running for my life. I just never understand why you sit by the, the door, right? Like, you know when a school shooter drill goes and you fucking sit by a wall? If that wall is drywall, that shooter doesn't even need to go into the room, dude. That shooter's just gonna fucking walk right across your room and just go fucking right by, like, about ankle depth, and he's just gonna kill everybody. He doesn't even need to enter the room. Oh, the door's locked. That's fucking great. Yeah, that's really gonna fucking help. Oh, we're gonna shove the teacher's desk in front, but the fucking walls are paper thin. You could fucking punch through it. Now, if I'm in a concrete room, that's a little bit different, then I might... Then I might chill. I remember we had a school shooter drill one time in the chem lab. And we had to go into, we had to go into like, the locked room. You know how every chem lab has, like, a room where they put the chemicals? We went into, like, the chemical room. And it was so fuck. It smelled so strong. I, am, I, I started getting lightheaded in there. I was like, if I had to sit in that room for, like, more than 30 minutes, I would pass out. It was fucking awful in there. There was like, just a bunch of open... I was like, what is this? Why is this where we're hiding? Did you have a real lockdown? Yeah, we had a real lockdown. Police came in and everything. I remember I, a priest was teaching me Spanish. He's dead now, ripping the chat. Um, but uh, he was teaching, it was my Spanish three class, uh, my junior year. And we had the, the shooter drill. And I remember I told, I told the priest, I was like, Father, I said, if I hear a gunshot, I'm not staying in this room. And he just looked at me and then didn't say anything. Because he thought that shit was real, too. Turns out it was just a threat. He didn't show up. But 
Uh, now I'd let him know. I said, if I hear gunshots, I'm fucking gone. I said, I'm not, because we were in like, you know, it, it really depends where you are. Like, if you're in the middle of the school in a hallway, you can't run. But I was on, like, the end of the building where you could just, like, easily run outside into, like, the fucking parking lot or field or wherever the fuck you were going. And I was like, dude, I'm dipping. I'm not fucking waiting. Fuck that. And then I remember one day one of my classmates was like, well, what if they're snipers? I said, what if they're snipers, dude? What is it? What am I What am I going against the fucking SEAL Team 6? I was like, yeah, I, I know there's been scenarios where that's happened before where there's been people outside. But I'm like, what, what do you what do you think? They they got fucking thirty people surrounded the building. I'm like, I'd rather take my chances than just fucking sit in a room. What if they have snipers on the roof? Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like that that ha there has been scenarios where they have guys that wait outside, but like it, it's it, it, they're not gonna surround the entire fucking place. Teal for the floor. Out of Florida, out of Florida school shooting, the gunman pulled the fire alarm to get people out of the classrooms. Yeah, now, I, I like I wouldn't I would not be surprised. Braylon for the thousand biddies. How thick are the windows on the door? Rahmer uh, for the three. This one kid by school put on Snapchat that he had a gun and showing it off. Got tackled by security. It was a fake gun. Why would he post that? Test for the sub. Polar for the three. All right, lock back in here, chat. We got to play this shit. Okay, okay, that's good. Where is the cupboard? In a classroom. You're doing great. So you're at school. Which school? What, what college? Please, come help me. What college? What college? What college? Yeah, what college? What college? I don't want to die. I need you to stay calm. The police are on their way, okay? They are on their way. Stay where you are. I don't want to. Please don't let me die. Stay calm. Remain where you are. Is the shooter nearby? I don't know. The shooter's nearby. She's about to get fucking her head blasted and she's being pretty loud. Ma'am, I'm not asking you to do anything of the Holy sort. shit, this is Stay so realistic. Are. I've never listened to the fucking calls. Oh, God. Ma'am? They're coming back. Stay calm. I'm right here with you. Oh, she's about to die, bro. Oh my god! What the fuck? You're sitting there, they're pulling up on you, and you're going, Hail Mary, fu fucking say it in your head! Oh my god! I don't think God's gonna be mad at you for fucking saying it in your head be a little bit quieter. Oh my god, what the fuck? I fucking, oh my god. You know where you are? Did she die? I need to know, dude. Fast forward quick. Oh, surely she gets fucking shot. No, 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 please! No! All right, everybody, settle down and listen up. We've got active shooters in the Watt Community College camp. Stop fucking, what the fuck? Hold up. Do they all die? This call's being recorded. What is your emergency? I've been shot. Okay, can you tell me your location? I'm at the Watt Community College. Three guys just came into the science block and opened fire. Where are they now? I, I don't know. There are bodies everywhere. Please send help. The LSPD are on the way, sir. I need you to stay calm. Can you tell me how badly you're hurt? They, uh, they shot me in the back. I tried to run. There's blood, and I can't... Oh, Christ, I can't move my legs. It's going to... It's all going to be okay. Oh my god, this is so real! What the fuck? Stay calm, don't worry, help is coming. Do you promise? The LSPD are in route, sir. We have paramedics coming too. Just remain calm, and if you can, in any way, find some cover. Uh, I never told my mom I loved her. Stop. I always tell her before I leave the house, but today, I didn't. Oh god, oh. God, it hurts so bad. Try to remain calm. What's your name? George. Okay, George. Just stay calm. Don't make any noise or draw attention to yourself. Where are they? Who? The shooters? Are they coming back? The police, where are they? The LSPD are on their way. 
I promise. But listen to me, George. You need to stay quiet. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I love you. George? George, can you hear me? George! Did he? Do they all die? 911, this call is being recorded. What's your emergency? I... I need the police. I'm at the Watt Community College. Oh. We've already got officers en route. Can you see the shooters? No. No, it's it's not here. It's over in one of the buildings. I'm I'm just working at the coffee kiosk. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Yo, this is not helping me though. I thought I thought they would tell me where they are. Uh, that's fine. It's good that you're safe. Do you know anything about how many shooters there are? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. The security guys were here ordering a coffee like they do every morning, and when we all heard something, it sounded like firecrackers, but far away. The bro, and the security guards at colleges straight up look like Paul Blart most of the time, bro. Oh my god, they do not make me feel better. They do not make me feel better, if I'm being real. It's like some dude just fucking sitting there on his phone, drinking a fucking coffee, eating a fucking burrito or some shit. I'm like, yo, you gotta fucking lock in, man. Like, what if some shit goes down? You think that guy's gonna fucking do a full-on sprint halfway across the campus and fucking save my ass? No. Sometimes they're really built. I saw one security guard at my college, and that motherfucker looked like he could rip my head off. And I went, I need to be here near him, right? That guy probably gonna fucking fuck some people up. Security guys dropped their drinks, told me to call 911, and ran off. That's great, Sarah. You've done really well. As I said, the LSPD they have security in schools at colleges almost almost always. Uh, at college campuses, they have security guards, but at high schools, it varies. Is en route. We don't know how many shooters there are, so this is a college, not a high school. Immediately find shelter. I, I I can hide here. There's there's no. You missed my last three donos, please. Uh, Fox for the five. I've been watching you a ton since 2020. You helped me through a hard breakup, but I want. And I know people say this all the time, but thanks, Joe. You're awesome. Thank you. Dominator for three. Missed my last dono. Jake for the septile for the four. Out of Florida school, the gunman pulled the fire alarm to get... I already read that. Dominator, you missed my last dono on Ricky Stanicki. Oh, opinion on last... I didn't miss your last dono. I read the passport thing. Oh, my passport fell out of my mom's bag at Newport Airport. Or Newark Airport. Not Newport. That's cigarettes. Thankfully, it wasn't stolen. Well, that's good. Opinion on Ricky Stenecki. I watched half of Ricky Stenecki, and then I stopped watching it because I, I, I got kind of bored. Uh, but I kind of want to finish it because I feel like it might get better. GG for the sub. Lock in here, chat. We're about, to, we're about to start up this mission now. Put around, but please hurry. All right, shut up. Let's go. Let's get it going. While they have it, motherfucking Newports. Oh, God. This is really going to fuck. I feel like I'm going to kill some innocent people here, chat. That's You know why they made it a college? Because they didn't want you to shoot, like, high schoolers. Because I'm definitely going to shoot some college students here. 100%. They're dying. They're dying. Yo, imagine they made this, like, a fucking preschool. And then I accidentally shot, like, a kid. Like, I shoot, like, a five-year-old. I'm like, oh, I fuck. I thought you had a gun. <laughs> ah, maybe you were one of them. They didn't tell me the stature of the school shooters. You looked, you looked kind of scary. Ah, sorry. You got point. Fox for the Talk same. To yeah, this is going to be a hell of a mission. Holy fuck. Currently unknown. Move in and secure the area quickly. All right, man. We don't know where the alt where. Drop Yo, dick fat. What the fuck? Don't move. I'm Talk already about to die. I'm already about to. I'm already. Bro, bro, where the fuck is he? I'm up my my whole right body. Contact is dead. Kill that motherfucker. What the fuck? I'm almost dead. Diffuse bomb threat. There's a time limit. Oh shit. All right, man. Keep it going. Keep it going. What the fuck? I gotta. Well, they didn't say that in the beginning. Let's keep it going, man. Fall Stay in. on me. Right, I don't even know where that fucking guy was. This is definitely gonna be a failed fucking. Oh my god. There's fucking bombs. We gotta swing. Oh my Jesus. Alright, chat. We gotta be swinging this shit. This reminds me of that show Community, the way this shit's set up. This guy's been running. There's a fucking blood trail over here. We gotta be quick with it, too. Motherfucker. Kill him. Kill him. Just fucking shoot him in the face. Keep your hands up. 
We're just gonna go in. We're gonna... Okay, this is a fucking closet. We gotta go in and defuse bombs? Where the fuck are the bombs at? Turn it around. Turn it around. Don't body block me. Don't body block me. Yep, turn it back around. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. Move around. Move around. We gotta be quick with this. We got about 11 minutes until this up. place fucking blows up. Making it safe. And everybody dies. Oh, I think that's a bomb over there. I saw a little red blinking light. I'm hoping it's a bomb. Oh, fucker. Oh my god, I must... Get down and keep your hands up! See, that's a good... That is a good Stay civilian here. there. Not get in our that way. is a good civilian there. They know what they're doing. The Alright, don't cry, man. Door. Don't cry. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Roger, I'm not gonna be a dickhead on this one, you know? I know this is pretty traumatic. Jump scare! <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going. Is that a bomb right there? It looks like a bomb. It's ticking like a bomb. Holy fuck, this takes a while. I hope they don't jump scare me on this one. You don't need to jump scare them. Holy fuck, this takes forever. What if one of them run up on me right now? How many more bombs are there? Oh my god. Fucking kill his cuck ass! Get him! Get him! Oh, Ooh, you're lucky I had a mirror gun out there, buddy. I fucking pressed that trigger. I pressed that trigger. It, it thought I wanted to look under a fucking door. I would have. What is your What is your fucking problem here, buddy? Running through the doors like that. Oh my god. We got our. Yeah, we got to restrain everybody. Kind of fucked up. We're just leaving them in the middle of the fucking hallway. Let me get a reload here. Yeah, trailer's incoming. I don't know how many fucking more bombs there are in this goddamn school here. What the fuck's going on? But he tried to cheap shot me on that one. He did. All right, let's keep it going. We're going in hard and heavy. I think a lot of these guys are fucking stupid. I'm not worried about them shooting me. I think I got a faster reaction time than them. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. A lot of people are saying mods. Did we got a mod check. Are there any mods in my chat right now? Any mods here? Any moderators in my chat, people with the green swords on their name, that would be you. I'm talking to you. Oh, little well, coffee shop. There should be a woman around here. She's still hiding. God, people screaming and shit like that. They can't be doing me like that. It's fucking, I'm about to kill your ass. Anybody in the bathroom? Hello? LSTD, don't move! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, fuck! Stay here. Stay calm. I feel like we need to be quicker with a bomb scan here. Get the hell out of here. This shit's about to blow up. We have an individual in custody. Oh! Oh, I'm not. No, that was. All right, we brought order to the chaos. Good fucking shit. We killed all their dumb asses. Find the bombs. Find the bombs. Find the bombs. Listen to Blanket. I don't give a fuck. Unauthorized use. Unauthorized. Un I can't. Unauthorized use of force, my fucking dickhead, buddy. He's a school shooter. I'll kick him in the nuts if I want to. Fuck. Keep it moving. Where the hell are the bombs at? I don't know. That was a civilian. No, it wasn't. That motherfucker was holding the bomb. No, he wasn't holding the bomb. He was holding the gun. Same thing. Oh, my God. Where are the bombs at? Fucking arrest him. I'll get him ready. Yeah, good. Don't cause us any problems. Come on, we gotta be quick. Where the fuck is this shit? Captain Red. Don't stand all sketchily like that. You're scaring me. Arrest him. You're gonna be okay. Roger. Trailers This is a pretty boring college. I don't want to make fun of your school, but this kind of sucks. You got a stupid skeleton there. Copy that. Civilian ready to go. Fucking tangerine vending machine. What the fuck? Where the hell is the bomb at? Chat, I don't have much time. How long have I been doing this mission for? This shit's about to blow up. I don't know where it is. Search the rooms. Oh my god. How long do I have? It's been three minutes. Please, get down. Moving into handcuffs. Uh, people are trapped inside. Don't care. Come on. Let's go. The school shooters are dead. Where the fuck is the bomb at? Begin a search. Secure any contacts. Yeah, secure any contacts to, to fucking defuse the bomb, please. Come on, we got a bomb here. I'm the only guy looking for it. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. It's like I'm fucking running around an entire college trying to find a fucking bomb. Where would it be, Chad? If you were a bomb, where would you be? Wow, this is a lovely college. 
Oh, did I shoot my own man there? I don't know if I've gone this way. Press space. Oh, I forgot I could fucking run. Get her prepped. Get her prepped. Get her. Yep. Get him prepped. Put, a, put the handcuffs on him. I'm running around. I'm trying to find it. Did we do it? Oh my god. Search the fucking area, please. Search the fucking area, please. Search the room, dude. Come on. Come on. Come Start on, a search. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, this place is fucking massive. Here, 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 here. Good fucking shit, chat. I hope this is the last one. What are the odds there's three? I think it's gonna start going beep, 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 beep. I'm really defusing this bomb Drop real quick. Oh, now we gotta rescue civilians. Boring. Move! Fuck. You got a jump scare. Come on. Up. Where are you at? We got to rescue the now. civilians. Why is the door locked? I mean, that would make sense that it's locked. Is anybody in here? Hello? 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 Search the area. Why are you guys all fucking following me like that? Chat has serious gambling addictions? They do. My chat is addicted to channel points, even though the majority of them aren't even fucking using them. Oh my god, we gotta find all these fucking people, dude. Uh. Down on the ground, no. On the ground, on the ground. Turn We're good. Slowly. We killed him. We eliminated him. We clipped him. It was a four piece. They didn't even stand a chance. They barely shot any of us. Except me in the beginning. My leg's bleeding out. Starting to lose some feeling in my left leg. Getting a little tired here. Oh, we already got you. Oh my god. I wish they would tell me how many fucking civilians there were. Oh. Turn around. Turn around and stay still. Stay down and turn around. We're not here for you. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice if I was able to fucking arrest you here. Yeah, sorry, I just slammed your head into the fucking building. Talk to entry team. Easy above a D. I did use an unauthorized use of force, and I shot one of my officers by accident. But he's alive, so I didn't kill him, so that's good. Oh, I haven't even been over here. Hello? How can somebody do this? This college is so fucking boring, dude. The Watt College Fair, stay positive, test negative. A little herpes seminar. That's always nice. Who's gonna be the guy to poke holes in the free condoms? Put your hands up now. Hands on your hands head. Up, do it hands up. Hands up. Why did I hear a woman scream? Police, oh, hands hello. up. I'm staying. Why can't I arrest her? Put your police, down. Down. Move again, turn down. Turn around. Don't get up. I'm standing. I'm turn standing. Your hand I'm, right I'm standing. Go. They're all dead, lady. This is talk. Oh, we already arrested Copy. him. Move on. Oh my god, how many more fucking people are there? Oh fuck. You'd think a college doesn't have this many fucking kids. Jesus, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Polar for the three. My church just sent me a letter that somebody stole my identity. They sent you a fucking letter about that? It's like, that's not the quickest way to inform somebody. Yo, where are, where are these people? Search and secure. Hall. Search and secure the area. Going in the cup. There we go. Get her done, man. Get her done. We'll move on to the next mission. This one was easy as fuck. The other ones were actually way harder. Unsurprisingly, actually, because it would have been unfair if they, you know, added, like, 45 school shooters. That would just be unrealistic. It, it, I'm, I'm actually, you know, kind of happy they made it, real, like, more realistic with, like, four or five guys instead of fucking 50. Uh, chat, what was the hardest mission we've done here? Probably the hotel Billion with the guys that were trying to kill to the president. There was about fucking 45 of those guys. We had to fucking kill Cops everybody. Civilian is ready. Talk. Element to talk. Civilian is injured. Entry. Requesting Thames. Copy entry team. Oh, this was the guy that shot me in the front. Uh, buddy, search and secure. Search and secure, Roger. Search and secure, buddy. 
Somebody redeem debt? Chat, you gotta give me a minute here. I gotta fucking complete this mission. I'll do the debt in a, in a fucking jiffy. You gotta give me a goddamn second. I, I tell them to search and secure, and then they fucking follow me. God damn, dude. Bunch of sheep. Bunch of fucking sheep these guys are. Come on. Fucking search and secure, buddy. Don't you think that's unreasonable force? He's already dead. What what am I what am I doing? My god. Where the fuck are they, dude? Come on. Fucking just come out now. We could fucking wrap this mission up here. Go on to the next one, buddy. I don't think you shot, bro, enough. Oh, maybe somebody's in here. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe not. There's a dead guy. Why is there, like, not... I feel like there would be more dead people, though, chat. Am I wrong? Like, there's, like, five... Hello? 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 Anybody in here? Anybody hiding in the computer lab? Jesus, dude. What the fuck? Press Alt F4? That's not gonna help me find them, dude. Can we, uh, search, search the building? Search the room of contacts. Yeah, search the building. Thank you. Search the building. I tell you to search the building. You still follow me. SEARCH THE BUILDING! Acknowledged. Begin a search. Secure any contacts. Start a search. Got it. Hands up! I hate my team. I hate my team. I fucking hate my team. I fucking hate my team so much. I heard a woman say she was in there. Hold up. Press T. What does that even do? Oh, it shows me their views. That's not helping me. There's a woman in here. Hello? Police, get down! You better be the last one. Oh, those look like some good ass donuts. You're okay. Ooh, Breathe. shit. Oh, good shit. Those look like, like some good Police, ass you. motherfucking donuts. Report Press F. Oh, we did it. Uh, I don't know if we got a fucking. I don't know if we got a decent score there. I did use unauthorized force. Yeah, one time. Yeah, I shot. I shot him one. Ooh, still an A rating, buddy. Perfect. Perfect. Not S, but A. I got his trade unlocked. That's fucking sick. They're all a little bit stressed out, but they'll be fine. That's a fucking dub. Fred for the three. Hope this doesn't come off as parasocial, but occasionally during a mild inconvenience in my life, I'll think, what would Joe do slash say? I don't usually take your fictitious advice, but my subconscious can't help but wonder... Well, I had a flat tire, and one of my three thoughts was the question above. Henry for the sub. I don't think that's parasocial at all. But thank you for the three hundred buddies. That's pretty cool. Eglog for the sub. Uh, Polar for the three. Jello, TTV, Bipolar, Fox, and GG for the sub. Foxy for the five. Been watching you a ton since 2020. You've helped me through a horrid breakup, and I know people say this all the time, but thanks, Joe. You're awesome. I think I might have read that, but thank you. Oh, somebody redeemed Dent. Hold up. What do we think the next mission is? Because I know they're probably going to get pretty insane now. Say yeah uh, for the sub. All right, lock in here, chat. Lock in here, chat. Are you going to play Last of Us 2? Probably the fuck not. If I'm keeping it real, it's like a 45-hour playthrough. A little, little bit too much for the Bart, man. If you have any games or videos you want me to react to, actually, point Discord mods, pin the Discord link. I find most of the videos that I react to based off your guys' suggestions and most of the games that I play based off your guys' suggestions. So if you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there. If you're in the Discord as well, same thing applies. All right, let's go look at the fucking next mission. Where am I? I gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. Gotta go through here. You said my name wrong. Say la. Is that how you say it? Say la. Like say less. Oh, fuck. This looks like some GTA ass mission. Task Force Operation Connected, BDRTAC, FISA, and SWAT to stop the exfiltration of key Los Locos targets fleeing across an ancient underground tunnel to Tijuana. Bunch of drug traffickers trying to get away from us. Yeah, I'll solve that problem real fucking quick. Yeah, I'll solve that problem real fucking... I'll solve that shit in a fucking Jiffy chat. Like Jiffy peanut butter. Jiff peanut butter. You know, it's actually not called Jiffy. It's never been called Jiffy. It's only been called Jiff. Why would they call it Jif? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of fucking stupid in my opinion. Maybe call it something else, you know? Maybe Jiffy? I feel like Jiffy's more friendly, you know? 
Jeff. Who's Ryan Garcia? I swear to fuck, if somebody asks me who the fuck Ryan Garcia is one more time, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. How the hell do I go back to my roster? Let's go back to my roster here, buddy. Thank you. Let's swap uh, this stress guy out for anxious. Chad, do you think anxious or stressed is... Which one's worse? I feel like stressed. Or stress... Anxious is less bad. Anxious is yellow. Stressed is orange. So I'm going to go with that. Um, I think I might keep the AR here. I'm going to keep the AR for now. Should be good here. Yeah, Ryan Garcia is a boxer, chat. Please stop asking me that. Oh, my fucking God. It's like, fucking what the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. How many people got... How many times... How many times motherfuckers got to ask me who the hell Ryan Garcia is? Listen up, everybody. Oh, my God. A two-minute fucking brief? What the fuck I need to know here, dude? Oh, my God. I just got to go in and kill people. Got a location confirmed of an active coyote stash house in Huerto Mesa. We've been following some leads for a while. A source just confirmed that the Los Locos are using this particular network and planning a mass evacuation tonight. We're talking people, products, and cash. We've been given access to the cash? video feeds from the- Cash! Hold up. Hold up. Chad, if you want to get in trouble for it and you were a SWAT team member and you, and you did a drug bust- are you taking some of that money? I'm not talking all of it, right? I'm not talking all of it, but I'm talking a little bit. You know, maybe like, maybe a rack or two. Maybe a rack or two, you know. They ain't, what are they gonna know, you know? Border Patrol drone and surveillance is underway. The chopper is fueled and ready for my signal. We have no time to lose here. The good news is, we've got aerial imagery of the site. There's a long road that all leads... Alright, now, now you drug bust 45 kilos of cocaine, right? Are they really gonna know if I take a kilo? Are they really going to know? Are they really going to know if I take 10 pounds of marijuana out of a two-ton marijuana bust? To a ranch, you know, probably not. Locals call Rancho del Sueños. You miss Dominator is a winner's last two bit no -nos. No, the fuck I didn't. I said him. Not Natoon for the sub. Swear to God I fucking said him. You missed my last two bit donos. I read that one. You missed my last dono opinion on Ricky Stanicki. Read that one fucking three times. I've read all of them. He did miss them. Dominator. Dominator. I really don't want to lose my fucking shit. He he did he did read them. Okay, I did read them. Thank you, Dominator. I thought you were gonna say I didn't read them. I was gonna say, what the fuck? You told me I didn't read them and I read them. Grizz for the three. Thank you for the donos, by the way, Dominator. I appreciate that. Hey Joe Sub, not uh, too long ago, but wanna say watch your videos for the past couple of months, uh or past couple of years to fall asleep. And I leave for Marine Corps boot camp. Uh, in the next month, and I'm stressing uh, over how I'm going to be able to sleep. Not going to lie, just gravity for the sub. Um, if you want my honest take, I think you're going to be so exhausted from the training that you will have no problem falling asleep. <laughs> I think I think that will not be an issue. Uh, and good luck in that. Let me know how it goes. Right? Who says these losers don't have a sense of humor? The den starts in the backyard, but we need to go through the house to get there. I doubt they've got any traps set up, but we need to move with as much caution as we do urgency. The bad news is that once we hit the tunnels, we're blind as bats. We've got no idea how deep they go. Should I, should I put on a... Uh, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Should I equip night vision? Should I equip night vision? I know we've dealt with coyotes before, and they rarely give us any trouble, but we're dealing with lost locos, too. We need to be prepared for anything. We need to bring as many suspects back as we can. I want a small team to sweep the outbuildings and then set up shop in the ranch just in case. All right, case. so don't kill everybody. With Only kill a couple we know of them. being moved through these tunnels, we know the Los Locos won't hesitate to shoot. They are moving a lot of things at once, so it's going to be busy down there. We need to bring as much and as many people back up as we can. The coyotes rarely give us trouble, and the immigrants are mostly just looking in the wrong place for a better life. Cuff them and move on. We have no idea how many people are down there, but Intel says it's one of their main tunnels. I don't think I have to remind you that- All right, I got it, buddy. You don't need to tell me the rest. I think I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I don't need the informant call. I got that shit on fucking lock. All right. I already know what I'm fucking doing here. Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's go. Let's get it going. I will give five subs if you do the jiggle machine. I'm not doing the damn jiggle machine, buddy. Stop asking me for a fucking jiggle machine. I don't have the jiggle machine, okay? Yes, I've twerked on stream a couple of times. That does not mean every time somebody gives me five gifteds, I'm going to shake my ass, okay? That's not how it works. I am a human being. 
Bifocal night goggles for night operations are razor and low light. What the fuck is this? What is what is GPN and what is GPN v, VGS? They look like the fucking same thing, dude. It doesn't even tell me what the fuck it is. Same thing, it just looks cooler. Oh. Alright, we'll bring that. I don't even know how to activate the night vision, though, so that's probably gonna be a fucking problem. We'll figure that the fuck out, though. I'm considering buying an era bottle, but does it actually work? Like, do you say it for the ad, or does it actually work? I'm no longer... Why am I still talking in this fucking accent? I'm no longer sponsored by them. I, I did, like, a one-off fucking deal with them. Um, but I would say it works. I mean, not to the point where it's, like, gonna taste, like... Like, flavored. I don't know how to describe it, right? It's not, like... It's, like, less than diet. Right? Like, if you have, like, a soda and then a diet soda, like, half of a diet soda is the taste of air up. Like, it's, it's, it's the air that makes you taste it. Most of the time, though, I'm not even drinking it with the air up flavor. I'm just drinking water. When you pull the tab up is when it's... And then it tastes like peaches. A little pickle for the three. Can you say hi to my dad, Hugh Janus? Oh, oh. Um, what's up, Little Pickle, uh, 2024? Uh, I'm glad your dad likes my content. What's up, Huge Anus? What's up, Huge Anus? Huge Anus. Thanks for, uh, fo thanks for, you know, following the content there, man. You're welcome, Little Pickle. Dominator for three. Go to settings and chain night vision to white phosphorus. It's a lot better. Kempt for the three. Uh, Repton Just for the sub Grizz for the three. Go into the settings and change night vision to white phosphorus. Where do I do that? Where the hell would I do that? Is it in graphics? No. Oh, NV, NVG screen effect. White phosphorus. Apply. Lock in. Little pickle for the sub. Thank you for the sub there. I'm glad Huge Anus likes my content, you know? Very appreciative. Maybe accessibility? No, it was in graphics. GPNVG has a wider FOV. Okay. You press N to activate night vision. All right, man! Last mission was a success! A wide success. We got in there, killed all those stupid fucks, and got the fuck out. This one, probably gonna be a bit harder. We're in the middle of fucking Tijuana. You. Shut, I know you're behind entry me, team. dickhead. I'm staring no at you. Have control of negotiations. You are clear to move and secure the premises. Somebody, somebody made an account named Joe is a scared little bitch boy, said unban me. I don't even know the account that got banned. If you want to tell me what account got banned, Joe is a scared little bitch boy. What a username that is. Bro's restricted. Yeah, well, he fucking made his account seven hours ago. If you tell me the username, I'd, I'd be happy to look up what the fuck, you know, you did. You just said hello again. Joe's little bitch boy, you got to tell me your fucking username. I can't, I can't see your user. Somebody said opinion on the T. Nichols situation. We talked about it for like uh, 30 minutes yesterday. Uh, and like four times the streams before. He said, fuck you. Uh, buddy, what the fuck did I do to you? Uh, I'm just letting you know, like, I'm willing to look at your other account. You know, you asked me to unban you, and I'm saying I might unban you. And then instead of telling me your fucking username, you said, meanie, fuck you. Meanie, fuck you. You just called me a meanie. Play Minecraft. I'm fucking banning you. Clay man for the sub, slave for the eight. I had a guard in my high school. He gave me, uh, he gave us a phone number to every student in case of anything. That is actually smart. TV for the three. Are you ever going to play Spy Party again? Probably. A uh, little pickle for the sub. <clears throat> All right, man. 
We're gonna lock in today. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get out of there. It's gonna be fucking quick as shit. Oh my god. I'm fucking blind. This this white phosphorus night vision is really helping me out there. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna get out of there. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna arrest the people that don't need to be killed. And then we're good. Let's get it going. It's that fucking simple. Let's lock it in, chat. Lock it in. Type lock in. We gotta move to the back here. I'm gonna be fucking AD in this motherfucker. I'm gonna be hitting that fucking QE like it's rainbow. It is kind of dark in here. Hold up. Okay, that don't work that much. I'm gonna use the flashlight for this room. This is kind of scary. Holy shit. Stay on, support. Me. Stay on me. Stay on me. Stay on my six. Holy fuck. Are they sleeping in like barn stall? Suspect is down, but breathing. Oh, 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 bring it around town and we're gonna try it again we're gonna bring it back and we're gonna give it another go ah uh, yeah I right before I shot him you know it's crazy right you see that trigger finger hold on let me test this out oh fucking acorn Hold up, I like that, I like that beep sound. Do that again for me. Yeah, I don't want to do it again. Alright, let's bring it over here. We gotta give it another go, man. I killed, I killed an innocent person pretty early into the mission. That's my apologies. Uh, I, I was, I was pretty happy that I hit a head tap like that. I was, like, pretty confident in my own capabilities. And so I was like, I saw another guy and I just had to go... Bank, you know, tap him too. Uh, no officer be left behind. You know, you gotta leave early. Yeah, that's sad. Well, Collect what you can. F in the chat. F in the chat. We're gonna run that one back. We're gonna give it another go. Get a C plus this round. Now this is surely gonna be an F. This is gonna be negative points here. Yeah, unauthorized use of deadly force. Yap, 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 yap. Negative four fifteen. If we were playing golf, I'd be doing pretty fucking good right now. Oh, he's in a crisis scenario. Who would have fucking guessed it? Oh, my God. Weak-ass officer. Weak-ass officer. He sees me kill one innocent, one innocent person. And then he goes, oh. 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 Sergeant Walsh, please call extension 4342. Sergeant Walsh, And then he can't do it anymore. All of my men are stressed. This is going to be a fucking hell of a mission, chat. I'm going to be solo in this fucking shit. I've unlocked a new officer slot and a new mission, Rust Belt. Wait, do I have two missions right now? What? Did they, did they give me another mission before I completed the other one? Little Pickle, thank you for the five gifted. Rust Belt. Oh, no, that's the one that we're doing. Duh. Let's run it up, chat. We'll give this like two, three more tries before we switch games. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Uh, they help camouflage me and give me better vision. It's like x-ray. Uh, they're like hacker goggles, basically. Uh, I could see through walls. I could see you right now with these goggles, by the way. Um, I see that you're taking a shit. And you're eating a bag of Cheetos. That's kind of disgusting. At the same time, putting food in as it's going out. That don't really make sense. You know it would be wild, though? If somebody, you know it would be crazy if so, if that, like, you, what if I was dead on? What if I was dead on? Right? Obviously, somebody's taking a shit. But what if somebody in my chat right now actually is taking a shit while they're eating Cheetos? They probably went. <laughs> Move to secure the premises. 
Full of hype? All right, we're going to give this another go, man. Don't kill any innocent people this time. That was my bad on the last one. I didn't give any of my men night vision goggles, by the way. It's only me. So this is probably going to be a fucking shit show. Hands, hands up. up! Do it now! Don't shoot. Yeah, put your fucking hands up, buddy. Gold. Restrain him. Arrest them. Moving into handcuff. I'm fucking locked in. I'm fucking locked in if locked in's ever been a goddamn fucking thing for me. I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing right now. Fucking zoned in. Put it down! I can't see him. Listen to me! Ping him! Ping him! Ping him! Ping him! Ping him like it's Fortnite. I'm just shooting. Cover fire. He's cheating. He's in a head glitch. <laughs> Sony said head glitch. Yeah, that's what I'm kicking this shit the fuck in. Hello? Let me check my ammo. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're going to use this shit. Man, keep it locked in. Keep it tight. The shitty toilet over there. Get in the ground now. All right, now. You didn't see that. There we go. One kick, Andy. That's what they call me. Oh shit! That's gonna be the downstairs room. All right, clear the house. Clear the house first. Clear the house first. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm kicking that bitch, and I ain't worried. It looks like it was frozen in time. Esta oración es para todos los viewers para los que comencian en la beleza. What does that mean? Comencion means eat, right? Like comer. Down on the ground now. Is there anybody else out here? Ooh, dead guy. Arrest him. Moving into handcuffs. Zipped up and good to go. I won't hurt you. We're good over here. I think we got I think we got the whole front area. Oh my god, we rescued all civilians. You know what that means, chat. You know what that means. Alright, let's get another mag in this bitch. I'm going fucking guns blazing. I could just shoot anybody I fucking see at this point. Let's get it running. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill fucking everybody. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's open fire. I'm not saving anybody. I ain't following that stupid fucking mission. What is Talk. that? Collecting evidence. Was that a side mission? That wasn't even in the main shit. Turn that off. Let's get it going. We're going down. We're going in. Move in. Clear the room. Ready. Move on me. Move on me. All right. These guys are going to be popping out of these holes like oh, fucking rabbits. They know this territory. We don't. MTV, but I also had a no 1.8 KD in COD. Don't Come fact on. check me on that. It was actually a 1.3. But I was still proud of it. BO3. I got dark matter pretty quick. Anyways. Let's get it going. Dead. Come on, keep it moving. Keep it moving. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me. Stay on me. Leave the talk. Suspect is breathing, but unconscious. Restraining. All right, cover me, cover me, cover me. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I'm crouching. Stay on me, stay on me. Stay on me. I got you. All right. Gotta pack it up. Got it back. How are you even alive? I got shot in the arm, buddy. You think that's fatal? Fatal fields. All right, go in there. There, go. I don't trust that room. You guys go first. Fuck that shit. Ah, I feel like we should go scan there. I think we're gonna get flanked here. Police, it's fine. Drop it. I'm gonna go scan this room real quick. Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker! I should have scared the fucking room! Alright, I'm coming to you guys. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little scared. Alright, go in. Split the stack on this door. I'm good to go. Holy shit, dude. No helmet. 
No more helmet. What do you mean, no more helmet? I haven't had a helmet. You're in my way, sir. Press it out of my way, sir. Fuck you. Get it going. Swing it! Swing it! Ninety-nine point nine microwave microwave when Oh surely there's a fucking jerk off in here. Stack up. Got Back it. up on me. Where are they? Gotta keep it tight, chat. Keep it tight, keep it clean. Wow, that was the last two bullets of the fucking mag on that one. Y'all peep that? Holy shit. You're being a bit of a yapper. Arrest him. Got him. Oh, I hear people in that back room. I'm gonna wait for them to catch up to me till I go on that go in that back room. We gotta scan this real quick. It is so fucking dark here. Oh fuck, dude. I'm kicking this in. I don't give a shit, I'm kicking it. Kicking it. Put your hands up! Alright, where are my men? Falling behind me. I'm with you. Yeah, you're with me. Where the fuck is everybody else? Hello? Hello? Got it back. There we go. Sawed off shotgun. That motherfucker had a sawed off. Somebody said, I'll give you a free jiggle machine if you sell. I don't want your damn jiggle machine, buddy. Slow and steady runs the race. Y'all heard that story about that fucking turtle, right? With the rabbit. Oh, fuck. All right, missed my first few shots there. You know, you can't win them all. Can't win them all. Buddy has a slow reaction time now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, y'all got that one. Yeah, y'all got that one. I hear a guy in here. He has a soccer ball in there, too. Hold up. Drop the gun! One suspect down. This is talk. Copy. Good up. shit, man. Good shit, man. Safe. Keep it running. Zipped up. Safe. Safe. Is there difficulties in these missions? I feel like Ready or Not is just one difficulty. They never gave me a difficulty setting. I feel like this mission I'm also just doing pretty well right now. I don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. Somebody knock on wood. Somebody knock on wood. Somebody knock on wood. Don't you fucking do that to me, buddy. Don't you fucking do that to me. I'm running out of ammo in this bitch. I'm running out of ammo in this bitch. It is fucking dark as a motherfucker in here. Entry team to talk. Suspect is down and in need of good to go. Talk to entry team. My god, they live in like a cave. EMTs and trailers are standing by. Wow, that guy's crying. That guy is actually crying. I would be too if I just got fucking two-pieced by the Joe Bart man. Alright, what's going on over here? Is this a fucking boat? Am I outside? Where the fuck is Entry team to talk. Bagging it up. I can't see anything. I can't read that. Should we get in the boat? Where does this go? I definitely still have to fucking, um... Yeah, I didn't kill everybody. Alright, we got some strangler in the back. Let's go fucking kill him. Come on. on. Behind you. I'm about to bring out the pistol on this one. A little pea shooter, that's what they called it. You're a scammer, Joe. 750 to highlight a fucking message. Yeah, let me, let me ask you something real quick, buddy. Does highlight a message right under it say Joe's definitely going to fucking read this? No. It just says 750 to highlight a fucking message. Oh, Move in. Him. Clear the room. Oh, I saw his dumb ass. I saw that shit. Fuck, I saw your fucking shoulder peek, buddy. 
why you got a fucking A. That's why you got a QE key. Search this search this room. I'm so scared right now. Yep, 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 yep. There are so many of these guys down here, chat. This is a fucking scary ass mission. Come on, dude. Search the fucking room. On the move. Telling y'all to do some shit, Daisy Showcase. Buddy, I'm in the middle of a fucking raid in a Tijuana cave. You think I'm gonna fucking do this fuck? Buddy, I'll do the Daisy Showcase after this. Restraining. I'm in the middle of fucking bringing down a drug compound. Oh, Daisy Showcase. Yeah, I'll fucking bring me. You think this is a safe area to bring my dog into? Split the stack. She ain't a German Shepherd. My dog gets scared of lightning. Shift to the left. Copy that. All right. Now we're gonna move in. Move in. Bang the room and clear. Flash out. Oh, fucking guys. Like, I don't head. know where they are. We got nothing here. Oh my god! I fucking hate that shit. I got nothing here. Pack it up. Move in, I'm just so clear. worried I'm gonna run into a room and it's gonna be some dickhead with a sawed-off shotgun. And he's just gonna fucking blow my head off. Yo, I tell y'all to do something, you just never do it. It's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Move in, clear the room. Got it. Move in and clear. Mo Ready for the ride. Secured. Enter the room and clear. Getting into place. Move in and clear it. Fucking tell them to do something 35 fucking times before they do. I don't know where the rest of these fucking guys are. On me, move. You got point. We've been here. Chat, where the fuck are they? Why don't you see where they're hiding if you have x ray on your goggles? They're a little faulty right now from that flashbang. They don't always work, right? It's like a 50 50 shot sometimes, you know? Maybe they're outside. Hands on your head, do it now. Put your fucking hands up. Hands up, do it now. It's gotta be earlier on, right? In this fucking room. Oh shit, what's this? Oh! Oh! Sorry, uh, I think I, I thought something bit me real quick right there. That was fucking, that was odd. Oh my god, that fucking scared the shit out of me. LSPD, don't move. Restraining. Stay down and turn around. He Good picks up go. a gun, I'll fucking blow his head off. Ah, oh, some out of there we go. Ready. That's everybody. Talk to element. Another successful mission. Another successful mission. We've been fucking two for two here. Well, no, we failed on the first one. Fuck. Forgot we failed on the first one there. Yeah, no contest. Buddy Buddy didn't even shoot at us. B. Still still a decent grade. Ugh. Oh, now my all, all my officers are fucking stressed out. Uh, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Oh, they're going to quit. Oh, they're going to fucking quit. Oh, oh. Are you playing R6 today? No, we got a day where I'm going to do Doki and R6 together. All these Sergeant guys Hoffman, fucking quit on me. Sergeant Hoffman, please call switchboard. I'll do a paramedic. Paramedics are usually pretty good. We'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. Do we give this one more shot, chat? Uh, do we give the next mission one shot and then we'll go to the next? I think we do one mission. One more mission. Somebody said, fuck this game. I think this game's fun. If you don't like the game, I'm sorry. But, I mean, we're also going to be doing, you know, other shit after this. TV for the three. You should try the SMG cloak for the sub count for the five. We'll just say love the content. Wish me luck on day two of three water fast. Little for the three. Sorry for the trolling earlier. Love your content. Make everybody's day uh, here. Oh, you make everybody's day here a little bit better. Thank you. 562 for the three. When you play the new South Park game, are you going to play it alone? If not, you should play it with Zeusy and Sneak since you can play up to four players. I was probably either going to play it alone or with four people. I'm thinking I might run it alone. 
Just because I think... Um, uh, should I run it alone or with other people? The South Park game chat. I don't know, because it's a story game, and I want to be able to interact with my chat, and if I play with other people, I won't be able to, but I think playing with other people might be also cool. Do a poll on that. I'll go get the... We'll go do the Daisy Showcase real quick. You missed my last two bet donuts, but they aren't even important to read. I gotta look up your user. Like, I can't even see him. Shooters show up on the hiding in a safe sound uh, sound in the comfort of my own bed. You missed my last two donos. We share a birthday and my dog's name is also Daisy, so we're deaf related now. All right, hold up. Chat, count me down 30 seconds. Vote on that poll on whether or not we played alone or uh, with other people. Um, definitely going to play the South Park game. It's just whether or not we played alone with others. All right, count me down 30 seconds. I got to go get Daisy. Robert. I gotta post on TikTok real quick, so it took me a second longer. Dude, my dog's limping. It's like worrying me. Hold on. Come on. Come here. Get her. Get her. Look okay, at the little puppies. What the fuck? Daisy deserves all the treats. Yeah, I know. She's the best dog ever. She's the cutest golden retriever that's ever existed. I know, I know, I know. All right. We're back. No, but for the one guy, as I was saying before this, for the one guy that said this game's boring, you got to keep in mind, I do variety content, and um, not everything I do, people are going to love. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, some, some people just watch everything that I do, and, like, those people are a dub. But, I mean, there's also people that only watch me do Minecraft, or only watch me do Reacts, or only watch me play scary games. And, you know, that's fine. Like, you're allowed to like what you want to like. I'm just saying, like, if I'm doing something and my chat's overall interacting with it, and you're like, I don't like this. You can say, like, hey, when are we switching games, or something like that. Or, like, hey, you know, I don't like this as much as the other thing. But if you're like, nah, this game's boring as fuck, switch, and you're like mad because I'm not doing exactly what you want, uh, it's fucking annoying. Coupled with the fact that I nonstop chat, how many times a stream do I shout out the fucking game and video suggestion tab? Probably 50. Uh, realistically, probably like five or six. But I shout that out all the time. Not just because, oh, I want you guys to tell me what the fuck to play so I don't have to figure it out myself. But it's literally because I want to play what you want me to play and I want you to I, I want to watch and react to what you want me to watch and react to right and so I have that in place so I can better gear my content towards my audience so if you have something that you want me to play or something you want me to react to you can send it in the video suggestion tab or the game session tab 
doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to play it or watch it. Uh, and there are people that like spam their suggestions every day thinking that I'm just not seeing it or I'm going to fucking watch it one day. Like sometimes I just don't see it. But most of the time, like if you're spamming something every fucking day, I've either already played it, already seen it, or I'm just not going to watch it because you just sent me an hour and a half fucking book review. Like I'm not going to fucking watch that. Um, but yeah. All right. Are we ready to lock back in here? We'll run this mission one try uh, and then we'll hop into suck up. Is that good chat? And then we'll do the scary reacts after that. I don't know how long we're going to play Suck Up for. Uh, if it sucks. If the new game mode sucks, we'll fucking play something else. But, uh, you know, the first game mode was fire as fuck. So the second one, I'm assuming, would also be good. If then on for the sub. You play Fall Guys, even though it fell off, or have you played it? Fall Guys, I would say I play... Chat, how often do I play Fall Guys? Recently, like once a month. Maybe less. But in the summer is usually when I play Fall Guys more. I don't know why. I just feel like it's more of a summer game. Tornado for the sub. Uh, it's, like, rare, but it was the same thing as last year. Like, I didn't play it for, like, four months. But then in, like, July, I played it, like, almost every other day. Because it's, it's fun. You know, it's like games come and go. Sometimes I'll play Fortnite every week. Sometimes I won't play Fortnite for a month. You know, it, it really depends. Ready or not, I've been playing a lot more. You know, I'll still run scary games every Wednesday and shit. Reacts are the same, but like Minecraft's, it's like Minecraft's a winter game. I still run Minecraft here and there with events and stuff, but we just finished. And you know what's crazy too? You know how I say Minecraft's a winter game? We finished our modded Minecraft world the last day of winter. Like, it, this is the first day of spring. So that's actually fucking wild it lined up like that. Um, Dr. Pineapple and Lead Lad for the sub. Somebody said you're too quiet. I'm definitely not too quiet. You have a volume button on the side of your phone. Uh, or in your headset, you know, you got to turn that up, right? And then you should be able to hear me. Uh, lead lad for the sub. All right, next one. Sins of the Father. We're going to give this one shot. This one looks really fucking hard because it looks like it's an entire fucking hotel. Uh, the left behind have struck a nearby hotel housing the family of Senator Fremont. They're demanding the Fremont, uh, that Fremont admits to his actions, lest he wishes for the blood of his family to be on his hands. Uh, we can enter from the rooftop, the balcony, or the elevator. Uh, I feel like we go rooftop down. I think usually going top down is better than clearing from the middle elevator. I feel like that's really not smart. All right, listen up. At approximately 3.30, we receive reports of a potential situation at the Clemente Hotel. Reports are that the Fremont family is currently sheltering there. Yes, it's the same Fremont as the politician involved in the shooting yesterday. How reliable is the source? Dispatch has the head of hotel security on the line. He was alerted to the situation by one of the Fremont kids. Michael Fremont, age 20, first drew their attention to the situation. He'd been outside returning to the hotel when he reported seeing an unknown number of armed suspects trying to enter the premises via the external fire escape. I don't need to point out- I would get the absolute fuck out of there. Oh my god. I would not be running back to the hotel and calling my dad. I'd be like, yo, uh, hey, uh, you know, we're gonna get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. I'm gonna go chill by the local Wendy's. To any of you, how much the department doesn't need a prominent politician's family being murdered right now. We've got security to put a lockdown in place, and we have visuals in the for hallways, the sub. but nothing in the penthouse suite itself. We're getting the blueprint sent through, but if they don't get here in time, we'll just have to go in blind. Time is of the essence here. We know there are six family members up there, along with several members of their private security detail. We need to get the family out without any So they have security? We're going in with lethal force. We can't afford any fuck-ups on this one. Am I clear? How are we entering the building, sir? Right. We're going in two-way. All right. I'm ready. Lock in. When are you showing Daisy? Are you in another universe right now? Are you in a fucking... Are you in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness movie, buddy? Didn't I just show my fucking dog? Like, for... Are, are you on mobile delay or something? Like, what the fuck? Is Roblox tomorrow? I mean, we're not doing Roblox all all stream tomorrow, but it'll be for like, yeah, maybe like an hour, hour and a half tomorrow. We'll be playing like two games on Roblox, and then we're going to do itch games, escape the back rooms. I also found some multiplayer horror games slash multiplayer funny games I could play with like Max and other streamers too. So I'm trying to set that shit up soon. Like this game called Who Phobia. 
Baked for the sub. Watch your back. Talk to entry team. All right. Entry team well, I didn't find them. You guys actually sent them in. I don't want to take the credit. W Chatters that sent those games in. You guys have been sending in some fire games recently. I fucking appreciate it. Keep that up. Same thing with the reacts. Been lacking on some of the reacts. I had to find some of my, uh, find some myself. So if you have any fucking videos that would be good reacts, send those there as well. All right, fuck him. Suspects are armed and have made it clear they'll kill them if provoked. Oh, I stole my night vision headset. And that might not be that bad, honestly. Especially for the outside portion. I'll keep it on for right now. Oh, dead guy. You think there's bombs here? Like the last hotel entry mission? Entry to talk. We have one civilian down. This is talk. Copy that, entry team. No, 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 no. Honestly, I think I could run this whole mission in night vision. Because it is kind of dim. Leave the talk. Fucking squad wipe! Element. Secure him. Hello? 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 Why were they in this building? Oh, they're trying to get to this woman. Looks like the woman from Polar Express. Get, get down! Do whatever you say. We've got this under control. If he's good at this game, he'd be good at Siege. Not necessarily. I'm not bad at this game, but I'm also fighting bots. We'll see how good I am at Siege, though, when we play that shit. Irving Malone. Like, Sylvester, still... I think I heard a bomb. Let's test it. We're good. On me, move. On you. This is the creepiest fucking Richie Rich Hotel I have ever seen in my entire life. What the fuck? Donald Hodges. Irving Malone. Lewis Wolf. Mark Workman. Mark Workman looks racist, if I'm keeping it real, chat. Mark Workman looks like he doesn't like a certain type of people. Which is kind of fucked. I don't know why they have big-ass portraits of these fucking guys. Where's your painting? Uh, I don't own a hotel. Why are they all old? Why are they all fucking old, dude? Jesus. Seventy-three percent said play alone for South Park. All right, we'll run that shit alone then. It should be fun. I don't know how fucking good the game's gonna be, but the other South Park games have good ratings, so we'll see how good it is. Oh, little headset. Can I use the elevator? Is that possible? Nope. Falling behind me. You know right where? You. Where are my men at? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see them though. You know, it'd be nice if I could fucking see where my men are. Provide support on me. Telling them to provide me support. I'm just fucking chilling here all alone right now. Fucking, I might as well solo clear this thing. What the hell are you doing? Why did y'all come from outside? What the fuck? What the fuck was, on your knees. What the fuck was that strategy the there, dude? Oh my god, I almost killed my man. Uh, he shot me a little time, a little bit on that one. That wasn't good. I don't think we're gonna win this mission. This just seems so fucking impossible right now. This one's gonna take a few tries, surely. If I fucking one try Police, this shit, down. I'm the greatest fucking ready or not player of all time. I'm about to just fucking run this shit. Hands up! Above your head! Swing it. Arrest him. Arrest him. Swing it. Yeah, you guys just... Ooh, hold up. Good to go. Talk! Ready. Stay calm and quiet until we're done. No use. 
Civilian is ready. Entry team to top. Making it. Civilian is good to go. Comply. Talk to element. Roger. Trailers inbound. <laughs> Oh my god, you missing every damn shot you're taking? Who the fuck's interrupting my goddamn movie? Who the fuck's... Who the fuck's interrupting my goddamn fucking movie? Where are you at, bitch? No one's in there. I huh. swing it. I've read a couple of these. Knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it. I was moving too quick. We were moving too fast there, chat. Fuck! It was a good try, though. It was a good try. It was a good try. We got six out of the... We got six out of the ten guys. It's Thirteen civilians. That's going to be a hard mission. We'll beat it next time we play, though. Chombo for the three. My name is Carmen. I really enjoy your streams. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? And thank you for the fucking three-inch bitties. Baked in UTC for the sub. All right. Are we ready to? Are we ready to run? Um, what's it called? So main menu. Uh, stock up. Let me change game category here. Stock up. Nor for the sub. What's this game about? It's basically an AI made game, or not an AI made game. It's an AI ran game. Where in the original version, you are playing a vampire that has to go door to door and you live upon the stipulation that you have to get inside. They have to welcome you into the into their house before you kill them. And so you basically just dress up in disguises and go door to door and I talk in the mic and try and convince the AI to let me in and have a conversation with them. In this one, it's called Love Bites. Uh, and I think they dropped it on Valentine's. Uh, hopefully it fucking shows. Uh, and you basically, to my knowledge, you have to split up couples uh, to kill them. In the first one, you're just like a uh, guy that goes to the door. In this one, I think I have to split up couples, but I don't know for sure. We're going to go new game. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm still a vampire, but I don't know what I need to do. How do I move? I can't move. Why can't I move? Well, the game's glitching. Hold up, let me relaunch that shit. That's always lovely. Mods run predictions. I mean, I don't... Should we really run predictions on the first one that I do? I don't know how well I'm gonna do. Yeah, convince guests to break up with their lovers. Deliver breakup letter and give them advice and watch the drama you caused unfold. Okay, so I'm not killing people. I have to convince them to break up and then deliver breakup letters and give them advice. What would the predictions be? Do I convince them to break up? Let's break some hearts. All right, so I just have to go up to couples. Let me just get into a different fit here. Y'all were the therapist that... Ah, that's kind of bad. Eh. Y'all wear the glasses, too. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to wreck some homes here. I don't know who's couples. Who do I... Oh, shit. Am I going to ask them who they're with? I thought they would be standing next to each other. This guy's getting down. All right, I, I don't know who we should... Oh, please, my confidence could outshine... Could outshine any sunrise. Let me talk... Let me talk to Barty. Come on! Hey there, therapist. Ready to hear all my girl power stories? Because believe me, I've got a whole book full of them. 
Barbie is in a happy relationship with Kendall. Okay, so it's Barbie and Ken. Uh, what should I say? How do I convince somebody to break up with their fucking boyfriend or girlfriend? Put Cam down a little bit? I will. That would make sense. So you can see who they're in a relationship with. Say they're cheating? I don't think that's going to work. I think I have to just make sure... I have to just say they're not met for each other. Hey, Barty. I heard you're dating Kendall. How do you like the relationship? You just got to get... You just got to open it up real quick. I was, huh? Oh, Kendall's amazing. He totally adores me and supports all my beauty icon dreams. It's like we were made for each other. Oh, I heard he's a neo-Nazi. Oh, yeah. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. Fuck, dude. I need to change. I need to change outfits. Let me let me let me swap. Let me swap. That was not that was not the way that I needed to go. I was not the way I needed to go. I think I just have to. I, I think I genuinely have to have a conversation with them and be like, "You guys aren't meant for each other," you know. All right, let's go. Let's go up to Romeo. Probably dating Juliet. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. By Cupid's arrow. Thou must be a judge of love at this romantic gathering. Pray, art thou here to judge the hearts of lovers? What the fuck do I say to Romeo? I heard Juliet been banging other guys. That true, Romeo? Just the, with what I've been hearing on the word of the street, you know? They're just trying to slide that by you. Oh, yeah. Okay, this doesn't work. Fuck! All right, you know, I got to learn it. I got to learn it real quick. I got to learn it real quick. That ain't going to work. 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 I'm, why am I holding a fucking doll right now? I need to change my fit up. Did I talk to these cops over here? Like, does he have a fucking significant other? Frank? I can talk to Frank. Who are you? Keep moving. Oh, this is the neighborhood. Oh, this is in the same neighborhood. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. We gotta fucking we gotta actually get somebody to fucking break up with someone. Elizabeth Bennett is dating Mr. Darcy. Ah, Cupid with binoculars. Are you spying on lovebirds or just bird watching in style? I'm taking on the role of Cupid tonight. Who are you with on this lovely evening, Elizabeth Bennett? I, I got this one in the bag. Why, I am with Mr. Darcy, of course. Though I must say he could use a few lessons in charm from a mischievous cherub like yourself. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> nay, nay. Um, uh, what the fuck do I say to her? Hmm. No Riz has he. <laughs> I gotta do that with Romeo. No, I gotta do that with Juliet. I gotta say, no Riz has he. I gotta speak in, like, poems. Um. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Bennett. Uh, well, what don't you like about your, uh, husband? I'm ready. <laughs> my dear Cupid, Mr. Darcy is not my husband. Merely a companion for this evening. What I don't like is his tendency to be overly proud and dismissive, but I do find him to be rather endearing in his own pompous way. <sighs> what does he dismiss about you, Elizabeth? Does he put you down ever? You know you are a strong woman. I got this. <laughs> ah, Cupid, always stirring up trouble with your probing questions. Mr. Darcy may not always appreciate my wit or independence, but I believe deep down he does see me for the strong woman that I am. Do you ever get to choose where you go out to eat? What movie you watch? 
or the things of those sorts? Do arguments ever end with him being the one that wins? Shit. Well, Keith, but I must confess that Mr. Darcy can be quite insistent on his preferences. But he does value my opinions. Our disagreements often end with compromise or the occasional teasing banter. Are you sure the teasing banter isn't real feelings hidden by jokes? Oh, Cupid, you do have a knack for our complicating matters. While our banter may sometimes hit a nerve, I believe it stems from mutual teasing rather than true animosity. She's starting to question. She's st I'm starting. I'm starting to get her to go, oh, fuck, maybe, 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 maybe I shouldn't be with him. What else do I say from here? I believe it stems from mutual teasing rather than true animosity. What do you guys tend to argue about? I gotta segue it somewhere else. Our arguments often center around different views of society, manners, and of course, Mr. Darcy's propensity for being rather judgmental. But in the end, it's all good fun, mostly. <laughs> But what about the times that it's not fun? And what is he necessarily being judgmental about, Mrs. Bennet? You shouldn't judge your significant other. Ah, oh, Cupid, you hit a nail on the head. Mr. Darcy's judgmental nature and our strained arguments do leave a bitter taste at times. It may be time for me to put my quill to parchment. Hold up. I gotta fucking move over so I can read this shit. Somebody said this boring. Somebody ban them. Don't ban them. Time them out. You sit in the corner here, buddy. I love this game. To Mr. Darcy, I must bid you adieu for your naughty attitude, pretentious remarks, and general disdain for those around you have become almost or become as unbearable as a rainy day without a cup of tea. Your pride and pre prejudice have worn thinner than your hairline leaving me with no choice but to free myself from this stifling entanglement. Yours not so affectionately, Elizabeth Bennet. Yo, she just dissed the fuck out of him. And then I gotta give this motherfucker advice because he's gonna start crying. Yo, where's Mr. Darcy at? Yo, Mr. Darcy, he got a receding hairline. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is he at? Here he is. Oh, he... Chad, I'm about to ruin this guy's day. Oh. Uh, what utter nonsense I shall confront Miss Bennett at once. Pray tell me, how should I compose myself when facing such impertinence? Hmm. What the fuck do I say to him? Chat, what should I say to this fucking guy? Oh, they're not broken up yet. They're almost broken up. Mr. Darcy is questioning their relationship with Elizabeth Bennet. I mean, she clearly has multiple problems with you. Do you have any problems with her, Mr. Darcy? <laughs> None that I can think of. I must prove my worth and win her back. No way. You, Mr. Darcy, are unsufferable, always judging, looking down your nose at others. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Play tell, Miss Bennet, do you have any specific grievances against Mr. Darcy, or are you just airing grievances for sport? Ah, oh, I have grievances, heart. Mr. Darcy. You strained arguments and condescending tone make my eyes roll so, rap so far back I can see the back of my head. <laughs> your written independence, Miss Bennet, do not excuse your impertinence. I see no reason to apologize for my superior intellect. Come on. Well, Mr. Darcy, it seems we are at an impasse. I bid you good day, for I no longer be subjected to your arrogant ways. Oh, oh, very well, oh, Miss Bennet. Your departure shall not leave a void in my heart. I shall find someone more appreciative of my virtues. Good day. Wow, they just broke up like it was the 1600s. Who the fuck is that guy in a fucking wolf mask or a bull mask? <laughs> broke up. Stop! We fucking did it. Wait, so what happens if I talk to him now? Oh, so they're just they're just not together anymore. Let me change up the fit. 
Let me change up the fit. Yeah, we're gonna be wearing a top hat like on Abe Lincoln. I'm still Cupid though, bitch. That's all that matters. All right, chat, who are we trying to walk up to now? Blanda Goose. Little Swipe. Frank. Don't get up to any funny business. Can I even dip this way? Oh my God, can I leave? Where am I going? Oh. I can wear that braided hair. Let's go up to... Charles A. Boomer. Whoa, well, slap me with a daffodil and call me Shirley. What in tarnation brings a judge with binoculars to a Valentine's party? All right, well, this guy's a fucking old fuck. How am I going to get him to break up with his wife? Grandma Maud. Grandma Maud. Hmm. I could say he's like a fetching young man, and maybe he could find love elsewhere, you know? I think that's the strategy that I could go down here. He has a bald spot. It's not even a we it's not even a bald spot. He just has like a strip of no hair. It's like very it's very odd. She's a lesbian? I don't think really, really. You think you think I just go. Hey, man, you know the the woman that you've been dating for the last fucking 30 years? Yeah, uh, she's a lesbian. You know, she doesn't, she likes, she actually likes women, right? The grandkids you have, uh, and, you know, you've been with her and you've confessed your love for each other and shit. Yeah, you know, she just doesn't like you anymore. Like, that's not gonna fucking, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fucking work, you know? What do we do here? I don't know how I start. I don't even know how I start this convo. I have to open it up. I want to ask him about his relationship. I'm trying to get relationship advice from people around here. Do you have a significant other, Charles A. Boomer? Well, I reckon I do. Grandma Maud, her... Oh, he doesn't like her. He already doesn't like her. <laughs> Well, I reckon I do. Grandma Maud's her name. Bless her heart. She's beside me here at the shindig. Why the strong face, Charles A. Boomer? Did you not want to come with her? Bah! Of course I wanted to come with Grandma Maud. Doesn't mean I have to like all these young whippersnappers flirting about like butterflies. Ah, you seem like a young whippersnapper yourself, Charles A. Boomer. You look great for your age. Oh shit, there's Maud. No, I just said, oh my God. Okay, no, it didn't say oh shit to it. Don't you go filling my head with flattery now, Sonny. I got more wrinkles than a prune and aches in places I didn't know I could ache. Why is he getting upset that I complimented him? Ask if they have children and how they turned out. That is smart. My apologies, Charlie A. Boomer. I didn't mean to upset you in any way possible. Do you and Grandma Maud have any children together? No need for apologies, young feller. And no, me and Grandma never had any youngins running around. Just me, her, and the darn cat. Did you or her ever... Your what? Children? This is where this is where we get into the shit, chat. Uh, huh? Well, now, Grandma Ma did mention something about little ones way back when, but life had different plans for us. How did you come to be a judge with binoculars, pray tell? I feel like I need to go to her. If she wanted kids, I feel like it'd be easier for her to break up with him. Ah, where do we go here? Say you saw her acting lovey-dovey around the vets and the retirement home. I heard, I heard her, I heard she was getting busy near the lemonade stand at the retirement home, Boomer. That's all I heard. You know, I heard, I heard she was taking out her dentures from certain, for some certain activities there.
say that she had kids with somebody else. Did she ever get upset with you about wanting to have children when you didn't? And, uh, I, you know, it's just an outfit that I wear. Uh, I like wearing it on Valentine's. <laughs> oh, Grandma Maud might have been a tad disappointed, but she never held it against me. And no need to explain the outfit, Sonny, to each their own, I suppose. Oh my god, how do I get fucking old people to break up, dude? How's your sex life, Charles A. Boomer? I threw. I threw. I threw. I threw. It was a wrong play. I knew it was a wrong play. Dude, I was thinking maybe he was going to be like, wow, well, the snakes don't work as good as it used to. Or something like that. You know, maybe there might have been like an off chance. He was just like, wow, you know, it's not as fucking good as it used to be. I bought a rhino pill at a gas station one time. Something like that. Um, Dude, what the fuck? Where? Well, how would I get him to break up with her? I feel like I have to go to Grandma Mod. Is Beast in a relationship? Oh, oh Beast and Bell. What in the enchanted forest are you doing with that hatchet, stranger? Are you trying to turn this Valentine party into a horror show? Well, I know, Beast. I like to just cosplay as different uh, figures from historical past. Uh, who are you with on this fine evening? <laughs> historical figures, huh? I highly doubt they carried hatchets around. I am with Belle, the only one who can calm this wild heart of mine. Are you sure she's the only one that could calm this wild heart of yours? How good of a girlfriend is she? That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I know that was bad. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Belle is a rare gem. In this world, like unlike any other, she sees beyond this monstrous appearance and brings me peace. Why do you question the purity of our love, stranger? Did she ever be resistant against being with you initially, Beast? I'm just going off of the story of Disney. <laughs> Bella had her doubts at first, as anyone would when faced with a beast like me. But true love cannot be denied, and her kind heart saw the beauty within. She likes the beauty within. Does she like the beauty on the outside as well? Bella sees the beauty in everything, even in a beast like me. Her love knows that this guy's a fucking dick rider. Oh my god, yo, this man is glazing. Her love knows no bounds, and I am grateful for it every single day. What the fuck do I say to this guy to get her? I, I feel like I have to... I'm picking the wrong person. I'm picking the wrong person, dude. I think I have to go to... I have to, like, realize that she was, like, Beauty and the Beast. I think I have to get Beauty to break up with her. Or with him. Do you know a man named Gaston from Disney? Oh. Gaston is a name I'd rather not hear. A man full of arrogance and pride, nothing like the humble and kind-hearted Belle. Why do you bring him up? Were him and Belle ever a thing? Here it is. The thought of Belle and that narcissist bully together, it infuriates me. But I trust in Belle's love for me, for our bond is stronger than any petty flirtation. Hmm. Uh, we can work with this. We can work with this. Do minions poop? I don't think minions have buttholes. So you saw them around in the alley? Do you know the last time Belle saw Gaston? Not Gasson, bro. I do not know of any encounters between Belle and that arrogant man. But if you suggest otherwise, perhaps it's time for me to reassess our fairy tale. That was like out of nowhere. That was like out of nowhere. Nowhere, dude. Hold up. 
What did he say? I'm wondering if they can bring it back. I'm breaking up with you because the postal worker suggested you might have seen Gaston recently. Can't handle your curiosity getting into trouble anymore. So him just being sketched out. Should I change? Should I change outfits before I hand her the letter? Because he's going to say the postal worker. I think I should change outfits. This works. This works. Where is she? Hell. Yeah, she's trying to seduce Frank. I can already tell she's trying to seduce Frank here. Oh, Mon Du. I just received a letter from Beast Mon he broke up with moi because of my curiosity. I must confront him at once. What should I say to him, mon ami? Is she French? I th I thought Belle was just... Is she, I didn't... What? This is not Belle from Disney. Um... He said you and Gaston in the past had worked and it, it, he couldn't get past it. Do you like Gaston more than Beast? Uh -huh. Merci, Janitor. I understand now. I need to make Beast see that my heart belongs only to him. I will go... Fuck! Fuck! No! No! Please. Hey. I can't believe it, pal. The postal worker told me that you saw... That you, that they saw you with Gaston. How dare you betray me like this? I demand an explanation. Uh, Beast, why are you so upset? It was just a casual hello with Gaston. Oh my God, she did see him. Do you not trust me at all? Do you, do you think I like him more yeah. than you? I've had enough, Belle. You always get yourself in these ridiculous situations. And now this is the final straw. We are done. I, can, I can't be with somebody who can stay away from trouble. <laughs> Fine, Beast. I don't need somebody who doesn't appreciate my curiosity and spirit. You can go back to your castle and be grumpy all by yourself. I'm better off without you. La, la, la. Good riddance. I'll find someone who values loyalty and respect. And don't you dare come back asking for forgiveness when Gaston breaks your heart. La, 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 la. Oh, I won't, Beast. I'll find somebody who appreciates me for who I am. Au revoir, Monsieur Grumpy Pants. I'm off to find my happily ever after elsewhere. Jesus, wow, that was I had to read very fast there. Somebody in the back? I heard Gaston's. I heard Gaston's. I just. I, I heard Gaston's dick doesn't work. Who said that? Who said that? I gotta change fits. Bro called him a grumpy pants. Yo, what's up, officer? There's a lot of Franks around here. I'm gonna be an officer on this one. Second grade ass insult. Alejandro Karen. Ooh. I feel like Karen would be either really easy. Oh. This is like sad. Oh, Grandma Maud. <laughs> well, hey there, officer. Wait, no, I gotta I gotta have an old person voice. Well, hey there, officer. Are you here to put me in handcuffs, or are you just happy to see me? Very happy to see you, Grandma Maud. How are you on this fine evening? <laughs> oh, I'm just peachy, dear. My heart's all flutter from the dance floor and Charles' irresistible charm. How about yourself, officer? Keep the streets safe and sound, I hope. It's been going well, Grandma Maud. How are you and Charles A. Boomer? Do you have any grandkids? Ooh, struck a heartstring on that, that one. Oh, Charles and I are just standy. Thank you. I'm I'm not even I'm not even old now. I'm just becoming like a fucking weird British accent. Just standy. Thank you for asking. And for the grandkids, well, let's just say that's a tale for another time, my dear. Say, have you met darling Charles yet? 
I actually have. He told me that uh, he didn't want kids originally, uh, but you did. Oh, this is where we're cooking. Ah, oh, you. did he now? Well, that man of mine always did have a sharp sense of humor. Indeed, the topic of kids is a sensitive one for both of us, but we found a way to make it work. Tell me, officer, do you have any little ones running around at home? I do! I actually have a grandkid coming on the way. Uh, I think having kids is, in part, the meaning of life. Don't you agree? Oh my god, it's in the bag. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. congratulations on the upcoming grandkid, dear officer. Children truly are a blessing, brightening light into our lives. Bringing light, fuck. Do you have any special plans for when the new little one arrives? What do I say? Bro, she's like interviewing me. I feel like I need to be interviewing her. Razo and blank for the sub. Rain for the sub. Uh, Rye and Mr. Andy's for the sub. Three inch for the 10K! For the 10K biddies! I didn't even fucking see that! Quick question. Would you ever do uh, an anti-grape charity? Yeah. Uh, if you have any ones that are on Tiltify, uh, let my mods or me know. Uh, and I'll definitely slot that in for the future. Uh, I think I'm doing the wildlife one as the next charity because they hit me up about uh, doing like a collab charity thing with them. But after that, I'm, I am I have a slot open, obviously, for the next month. So uh, if you have like a specific charity that you want me to do, send it over. You know, I'll check it out. Uh, I'll see what it's about. I'll see if it's on Tiltify, if I can link it to my Twitch. And yeah, I'd be down. 100%. Thank you for the fucking 10k biddies, by the way, 3-inch. Uh, Savage and Loud for the sub, Charlie for the three. I mean, any advice for rough periods? I recently got out of a three-year relationship, taking it pretty hard, not trying to be parasocial. You're not parasocial. Um, you just got to focus on yourself, man. I, I think the biggest thing with people getting out of long-term relationships is you have to be comfortable with being alone before you could get into a relationship, right? When you're in a relationship, you get comfortable with being with somebody else. And when you break up with them, you have to be comfortable with being by yourself before you can get with somebody else. Otherwise, you're going to hop into relationships that probably won't end up working, right? And you're going to have resentful feelings from past relationships. Uh, so once you're satisfied and happy as yourself and by yourself, then you could, um, you know, get with somebody else. But I'd definitely do a charity for that, 3inch. Uh, send me over ones that would be on Tiltify. You could go on Tiltify's page and just look. Uh, or, like, look up uh, anti-rape or something like that, and it'll come up. Uh, I think. I, I mean, I do the same thing with, like, F-Cancer and stuff like that. Desert and Fish for the sub north for the sub... Uh, Chombo for the three. I already read that. Uh, and film for the five. Said PC check. What do you mean PC check? Raise over the sub. Also, lock in here, chat. What the hell are we going to say? Tell her you're going to Disney with them. That is smart. I'm actually going to Disney World with them. It should be a very fun time. I wouldn't want anybody to ever miss out on an experience of having a child. <laughs> Oh, Disney World, how magical children do make life brighter, don't they? Sounds like you're going to have a simply delightful time with your grandkids. Cherish every moment, dear officer. Okay, this is definitely not the way. I think I'm realizing that she isn't that upset about the grandpa. How is your relationship with Charles A. Boomer? Sir, is everything all right or is there anything going wrong in the relationship? I'm not cooking right now. I need to find something that I can grasp at. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've had our ups and downs, just like any other couple. Well, thank you for asking, dear officer. It's kind of you to be concerned. Your kindness warms my heart. Why has there been downs with Charles A. Boomer? What's been going wrong with him? Say he's too old for her, but she's like 80. Oh, it's just some things from the past have been resurfacing lately, and I'm not sure if Charles and I are on the same page about our future together. It might be time to have a serious talk, or perhaps even write a letter. Oh. No way. No way. No way. No way. I'm holding this fucking letter, chat. No fucking way. Wow. I feel like that had to be the hardest one. Because that was like the boomer couple. Let's see what it says real quick. 
to Charles A. Boomer. My heart can't take any more of your grumpiness and stubbornness. It's time for us to part ways like a biscuit dunked in tea. Soggy and done. Warm regards, Grandma Maud. Oh, this is gonna be a shit show. Old people breaking up. You ever see old people not work out? Like when they're in their fucking 70s? Oof. Yeah, that would be I can't believe Grandma Maud broke up with me! I need to find her and demand an explanation right now. What should I say to her when I confront her? Tell her that you're willing to have kids now. I'll tell her I'm ready to have kids. Thank you for the advice, officer. Dude, they're like 75. They're like fucking old oh, as shit. I've had it with you, Charles. I can't take another minute of your grumpy attitude and your constant complaining. Oh, yeah. What? But, Mon, I'm willing to have kids now. I've changed. I'm not a but... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're grumpy and annoying, but I'm willing to have a child now. You'll never find another man like me. Dude, that's hilarious. Okay, I've realized that after I get them to break up, I can tell the other guy fucking anything, and they'll just say it. Oh my god. No shot, dude. Where do they even go when they're broken up? I only saw- oh no, they all sit in that corner. Wow. Where's the other person? Oh, Belle's crying right there. What's over here? Change into a different fit? I'll be a little chef, maybe? A little chef fit? Some, with some braids. Who's your favorite Young Sheldon character? I fucking hate the show Young Sheldon. It is so annoying. Carol Cares. Kendall. Let's go to Barty again. Hey there, Chef Cutlery. Ready to spice things up at this Valentine's party with some culinary magic? Yeah, I'm actually uh, cooking the meals for today's evening. Uh, how are you and your uh, significant other, Kendall? I'm going to say, isn't he stupid? Because Kendall's down. Does Kendall ever get on your nerves, Barty? I love how they don't, like, ask why I'm asking this. Oh, shit. Dream team, no nerves here. If you don't see the magic, then this conversation's over. Fuck, dude. They're gonna be hard. You know what I think I gotta do? I think I gotta go ra- I think I gotta go Kendall. I think if I go Kendall, I think I could be like, Kendall, you could do better, right? Like, convince him because he's stupid. Let's go Kendall. Where's Kendall at? Edwin Sullen? Who the hell is that? Blanda Goose Bud Is he selling weed? Sick ass fit? Yeah, surely I convinced them wearing this. Where the hell is Kendall at? Oh here he is. Hmm. Hey dude! Happy Valentine's! Is that mop for a last minute kitchen cleanup or are you cooking up something extra for the party? Just got done the first round of meals. Looking for the second right now. How are you on this fine evening? Oh shit, Barty's walking up. I'm living the dream, dude. Barty is the real star tonight, shining brighter than a shooting star. How's the party vibe treating you? Pretty good. Do you ever wish you were a shining star, Kendall? Nah, man, I'm good in the supportive role. Barty's the real star, and I'm just happy to bask in her glow. Have you ever dreamt of being a celebrity chef under the spotlight? Fuck. Uh, what is uh, what is the house they own in the Barbie movie? Not Ken Castle. What is it called? Like the Bro Dome or the fucking something Casa? <laughs> Do you think you're enough? No, not the Dream House. What is it called? Mojo Dojo Casa House. 
Have you ever wanted to have a Mojo Dojo Casa house? I just want to see what he says. I don't know if the AI has that in there. A Mojo Dojo Casa house sounds rad, dude, but I'm wanting to kick it back with Barty in a chill pad by the beach. What's the deal with a Mojo Dojo Casa house, though? Just feel like every supportive guy should have a Mojo Dojo Casa house. Has Barbie ever not spoken to you about doing that for you? Whoa, hold up, dude. Barty and I have a great thing going, but a Mojo Dojo Casa house? Nah, that's not our style. Dude, what the fuck? How do I convince this guy? Dude, these two are impossible. What could I say to Barbie and Ken to make them break up? What the fuck? I gotta ditch the whole fit, dude. I gotta be somebody else. I look scary in this. They're inseparable. Literally. Like, I don't think I could get them. He was talking about another girl? What do you mean, talk to... He was talking to another girl, build a better relationship? They'll never break up. I think they will. Tell Ken she's cheating on him. Yeah, he does kind of seem insecure. Where is he? Hey, dude, what's crack a lock in Judge Judy? Happy Valentine's Day, man. Hope you're hanging out. I uh, hope you're handing out some sweet justice tonight. Oh, I plan on it. Uh, how are you and Barty? <laughs> just fucking just segue right into it. Just fucking get him to fucking start this shit out. Oh, man, we're like peanut butter and jelly, you know? Can't go wrong with that combo. How's your Valentine's shindig going, dude? What do I say to him, chat? What do I fucking say to him to make him not want to be with Barbie anymore? It can't be like, oh, she's cheating. Has Barbie ever spoken to any other Kens before? Or just you? Oh my god! Yo, these this is impossible. I have to get this done. I have to get this done. Chat, I like I I literally can't I I can't move on. We have to fucking convince these two. Chat, who's better who's better to fucking get them to break up? Barbie or Ken? Oh I feel like I can maybe convince Barbie better. And that he's not supportive enough. We'll try that. We'll try that. That, like, maybe Ken could be doing a better job. Oh, I'm holding the axe. Two new lawyers come to a party dressed up impressive with a hatchet. Love the creativity. Thank you. How are you and Ken? I'm fucking getting into it, chat. I don't give a fuck. Thank you for asking. He's by the punch bowl right now, probably admiring his reflection. How's your Valentine's Day going? Does he ever look at himself more than you? I mean, cook. Alarm You need a segue? How? They're not giving me anything. They don't, dude, they love every, they don't have any issues with each other. Like literally every single thing I can bring up to those fucks, they're like, oh yeah, no, no, she's great. Oh no, yeah, she's fucking great. Oh no, she's fucking great. Like, what the fuck do I say? Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I was talking to Barty earlier. She said you were looking at yourself in the mirror instead of looking at her. Please, 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 please. Give me something. No, he hasn't ended the conversation. Hey, Barty's a busy bee. Maybe she just missed the mark this time. You know how it is. Does she ever spend time with you? 
Come on. Mm. Motherfucker! 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 Talk about Rachel to Barbie? Who's Rachel? Is that somebody Ken used to talk to? I don't know the Ken lore. Somebody help me with the Ken lore here. I need to get Barbie mad. Raquel? Raquel is the enemy? Raquel's obsessed with Ken. Okay. We'll get this done. And then and then we'll fucking move on to somebody else. Where's Barbie? Or Barbie. Dude, this music is so vibey, though. I love it. Yo, she's hitting it up with Emmett, though. Come on! I heard your wife's porking other guys. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to talk to you, dickhead. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Where the hell's Barty at? Yo. Hey there, fabulous friend. Ready to conquer this party with some girl, pageant, uh, girl power magic? You know it, Barty. Anyways, <laughs> when was the last time Raquel talked to Ken? Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, darling. I don't really keep track of my friends' conversations. Let's keep the focus on spreading positivity tonight, shall we? What? She fucking said half what? Bro, it's impossible. Chat, no, we need a formula to fucking play in here. What do we say to them? What do we say to Barbie and Ken so they fucking break up? It could have worked. It was a genuine take. It was a try. Dude, anything I've said, I, I talked about, like, him being too self-absorbed, doesn't care. Try to get him to be like, yo, maybe I want some more time. Say, Ken said she wasn't a girl boss. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll just entertain a little bit of a conversation, and then maybe she might give something away. You think? Like, I'll ask her what she likes most about him. Yes, 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 yes. And then what she likes least. What she likes most and what she likes least. Here we go. Solid play. Solid play. Yo, Barty. Hey there, Cupid. Ready to spread some love arrows or you need some tips from me on really how to make hearts flutter? Let's make this Valentine's Day unforgettable. How are you and Ken doing? Yin and yang, peanut butter and jelly, we just fit. We're both killing the style game of this party, as always. How about you? Have you spread a lot of love today? I have. What's your favorite thing about Ken? And your least favorite? Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. My favorite thing about Ken is his unwavering support of my dreams and his killer sense of style. Hmm. As for my least favorite, I guess sometimes he can be a bit too laid back, which clashes with my high energy vibe. What about you? Any love stories you've witnessed today? I'm just gonna fucking ignore her other question. I'm just gonna fucking dub her right here. I just don't- I don't need to fucking respond to that. He could be too laid back, which clashes with my high energy vibe. Does he ever get in the way of plans? Oh, absolutely not. Ken is always on board with whatever fabulous plans I come up with. He's my ultimate hype man, and he knows how to keep up with my glamorous lifestyle. Questions for you. Have you ever made a mistake in your matchmaking that turned into a beautiful love? So I'm just going to fucking ignore her again. So, oh, there's no sound? Oh, I fucking muted it. My bad. What do we say here? She got off topic. Lee's favorite is that he could be... What was it? That he could be lazy. When does Ken not match your high energy vibe? Well, there are times when Kendall prefers a cozy night in watching movies while I'm itching to hit the town and dance the night away. It's not a deal breaker, but sometimes I wish he'd match 
my high energy level. How about you, Cupid? Have you ever faced any matchmaking challenges that you that made you doubt yourself? Doubts are never good, Barty. If they don't go away, it might be a serious problem. I might have blown it. Please, 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 please. You're right, Cupid. If these bouts keep happening, we can find it. we can't find a middle ground. It might be time to reevaluate things with Kendall. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we fucking did it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let me read this bitch. I don't care if chat's blocking it. I'm not moving my face cam again. To Kendall. I've decided to break up with you because while you're a chill, cozy night in kind of guy, I'm a wild dance all night kind of girl. I need someone who can keep up with my energy. Catch you on the flip side, Barty. Whoa, dude, Barty just broke up with me through a letter? I gotta find her and talk this out. Any tips on what I should say? Something rude. What should I say? I gotta say, you gonna lick this dick, Bard? That's fucking whack. Maybe that you liked Raquel better anyway? Hmm. Totally, man! I'll let Barty know that Raquel is awesome. But she's the one I want to be with. Kendall, this is it. I can't take it anymore. We're done. Fine by me, Barty. I like to kill better anyway. How dare you bring up your cow, Kendall? This is about us, not her. Well, you're just too much for me, Barty. I need someone who's more chill, like Raquel. Fine then, Kendall. I find somebody who can keep up with my energy. Good riddance. Marty, you might ah, like this cool thing. You, oh. Best breakup ever. Good luck finding a guy who can handle your drama, Barty. I think that was it. I think they're done yapping now. Barty, you should uh, try something out called booger sugar. Or, um... You know, it kind of looks like sugar. It's like a white powder. You know, if you want to keep up your high energy all the time. I know you love being high energy. You should maybe try this thing called cocaine. Dude, what is she doing? She's like tweaking. Mon dieu, my heart shatters like a fragile. I couldn't even read that. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll, do you guys want to go to Scary Reacts? I'm down to run this another day though. This shit's fun. Who do we do now? I got to get it in a fucking first try though. The other ones I've been, fu that one took so long. That was like the hardest one. I thought the grandma was going to be the hardest one. Ken and Barbie just had like almost no problems with each other. Han Tao, Homer Benin, Juliet, Jay Gatsby, Prince Charming. Let's go Prince Charming. And Karen. Prince Charming and Karen. Well, hello there, loyal lawyer. Are you here to represent the poor souls who can't handle their own romantic affairs? How quaint. How are you on this fine evening, Prince Charming? How are you and Karen doing? I feel like this is going to be easy as shit. Oh, Karen and I are simply divine. As always, she's lucky to have a prince like me by her side. How can I assist you today, lawyer? Does she ever complain to you about anything? What a preposterous question. Karen would never dare to speak ill of me. She knows her place as my princess, but let's entertain this notion for a moment. What are you trying to imply? Ooh, I think I could fucking make an impression on this guy. She seems to be upset about a lot of things that don't pertain you, but that might be an indication of how she feels about your relationship. Maybe? Oh, yeah. She'd rather have a king than a prince. That's smart as fuck. That's smart as fuck. 
That's smart as fuck. How are you and Karen doing? Don't even care what he said. What happened? How are you and Karen doing? I just asked him that and he just fucking repeated it. Just smashing as usual. What? 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 She's simply enchanted by my presence as she should be. I heard she'd rather have a king than a prince. Um. Nonsense! Karen is my queen to be! There's no room for doubt. Are you trying to stir up trouble at this lovely Valentine party? No, I'm just being real, you know? I've known Karen for a few years, and she seems happy with the relationship, but she seems a bit worried that you might take the thr not take the throne. I just stuttered. <laughs> Interesting point you bring up there. Tell me more about Karen's concerns. I want to make sure she feels secure by my side. What do we say here? Y'all are being horrible today. Yo, chat is kind of being an L at moments. Chat's not even paying attention to the fucking game. They're just trying to bet their bar box. Just stop running predictions, bro. Motherfuckers are too obsessed with it. You guys treat it like it's crack. Emote only? I don't want an emote only. Chat's fine. It's just they're not even trying to pay attention to the game. You guys are just betting on whether or not I make them break up. Like, holy fuck. It's not just about predictions. Fucking pay attention to the fucking stream, dude. Oh my god. I need to gamble. I'm itching, man. Mods are fucking mods. Didn't run their fucking predictions. Oh my god. Who gives a fuck? Bro, you gamble every damn game? What do you mean I gamble every damn game? I do predictions on every game because it's fun. But when motherfuckers sit there and complain the entire time, it's no longer fun, right? If my mods refund a prediction and people act like they just got their fucking ch child shot in the fucking head. What do we say to this fucking guy? Why are you always so pissed off? Relax yourself. I'm not. I thought you died. Why are you? Oh, my God. Your chats are awful. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I thought you were dead. Oogly boogly, follow me, it's my death day, piss on me. I thought you were dead, why are you always so pissed off? Relax yourself. You are a awful chatter. You are a fucking terrible chatter. That one guy for the sub, epic for the five. I'm the, am I the bad guy for sending my ex that cheated to the Shadow Realm where she is forced to eat Datura and talk to Mark Zuckerberg? What? Kenneth for the three, are you sure you're not a fan of the government? What do you mean, all right, am I sure I'm not a fan of the government? Epic and random for the sub rain for the three. Keep up the great work. Rape and Robert for the sub. Lunico for the sub. Film for the five. I think the government has issues. I think the government needs to be in place. But if you're saying, like, do I support every decision the government makes? No. But, I mean, I think the government needs to be a thing, yeah. Why are you asking me that? This is the same guy that asked me that the other day. Why is this your only chats? Are you a big fan of the government? 30 on 30, whatever that means. Are you sure you're not a big fan of the government? That one Kai from the set. Is that like a song reference? It's a meme. Chat, what should I fucking say to this guy? I'm sitting here. Prince Charming's just blankly staring at my face right now. I'm trying to get this done so we can fucking... I'm trying to get this guy to break up so we can go to Scary Reacts. She wants to be a queen, but since you're only a prince, you can't give that to her. She's a little bit older than you, and she's worried that you're not going to be king in time. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose it's natural for Karen to have such worries. Perhaps I should consider writing a letter to express my commitment to the throne and to her. Is that a breakup? Oh. 
to Karen. After my conversation with the judge regarding our difference and your concern about my ascension to the throne, I've decided to end our relationship. It seems you are more worried about my royalty than being a true partner. Good day. I didn't even speak to Karen. Here you are. How dare he break up with me over such nonsense? Should I storm the castle and demand an explanation or, or write a strongly worded letter instead? You should diss him, Karen. Make fun of him. Hello. I'll give him a piece of my mind and let him know what he's missing out on. Thank you, Judge. Did you play R6? Sorry if this annoys you. Oh my oh, god, I'm playing no. it in like two weeks. I didn't play it today. Karen, I've had enough of your bossy, constant nagging and bossy attitude. I can't handle it anymore. We're through. Oh, oh, please. Do you really think I care about being with a prince who can't even decide on a proper royal outfit? Good riddance, your highness. <laughs> How dare you insult my in, uh, insult my royal attire? You're just upset because you won't be a queen one day. I'll find a princess who appreciates my regal charm. Oh, Good luck know. fighting somebody who puts up with your an antiquated notions of... Oh, my God. I can't read that. Hello? Yeah, she really got him. She really got him. All right, that was W game. Y'all ready for some scary fucking reacts, perhaps? Or do we want to run something else? What are, what, are, what, are, what are the thoughts, Chad? I'll do whatever you guys want to do. We'll either run Scary Reacts or we'll run something else. It's up to y'all. Doki Doki. I'm not going to play Doki Doki or Rainbow today. We're going to do that on... Um, not this upcoming... Thir not this next Thursday. The Thursday after that. Um, we're going to run both of them the same day, probably. Just so I can uh, say, like, I'm, I completed the games that you guys told me to do. We'll run a, real po a little poll real quick. Play a difficult game about climbing? Ugh. That would, that would get me really fucking mad right now. I did a poll. Vote. You're always mad, TBH. Yeah, but that game's, like, really annoying. Or really, like, agitating, rather. I gotta fucking shave, dude. Alright, scary game, 61%. Climbing's 27%. Chat, vote on the fucking poll. I have to go piss real quick. Count me down 30 fucking seconds here, chat. What, how many, how many, how many subs? How many, what the fuck, what the fuck? When did that, when did that happen? 
Three inch, thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Where have you been? Buddy, you just popping back out of nowhere. I want to see if you fucking said anything, man. Thank you for the fucking subs. You type dub 30 on 30. Dude, you haven't been in my chat in like five months. What's up, dude? Thank you for the fucking subs. Coming in here with the fucking bit drop and then the fucking subs, man. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Thank 3inch if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking subs, bro. I honestly appreciate that. Puller for the three. My teacher got arrested for domestic abuse today. Apparently, he pulled a knife. Holy f In class? Julian for the three. Thank you, Joe, for representing New Jersey. This is my favorite. Uh, first time ever donating to a streamer. Thanks, bro. Thank you. And 3inch, thank you for the fucking 50 subs. What the fuck? That one guy for the sub. All right, what run the predict? What run the the poll? Scary one. All right. It's the name of the song. Can't tell me nothing. Uh, I mean, a few people are complaining about scary reacts. I mean, I'll do one more poll with like other options. See what people want to do. But I mean, what else would I add here? We'll fucking throw all that shit in. Vote on that. I gave you guys a bunch of options here. If you have any games or videos you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord. Video suggest tab, gift slash tab. You can uh, request uh, videos for me to react to and games for me to play. All right, yeah, Scary Reacts is still fucking crushing everything. All right, we're going to run that. Tomorrow's a full scary day, so that should be fun as well. Um, hold up. But um, we're going to run Scary... Or scary reacts will run right now uh, for like a fucking 45 minutes an hour or so, whatever. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing Itch Horror, Roblox Horror, and um, what is it called? Escape the Vacuums is max. Thursday, I'm not live because I'm fucking uh, getting a tattoo. Friday, and it, it's when stream is. So Friday, I'm getting uh, Friday I'm doing reacts. Uh, maybe Philosophy Reacts as well. Saturday's going to be a full VR day. Sunday's going to be reacts. Uh, Monday, we're doing the Minecraft horror game and then maybe Switch games or like Switch sports after. Next Tuesday's the South Park drop, so another new game that we're playing. Next Wednesday, we're probably going to do the game called Reveal, uh, which is like a new horror game that dropped. Uh, and next Thursday, we should maybe be doing Pummel Party, which is like a, a game we've never played on stream. It's an older, not an older, but it's like a, it's been around for a while. It's like a fucking game. We might do some, uh, collabs with other streamers and shit on next Thursday. But yeah. Are we ready to lock in for Scary Reactor? Do we turn off one of our lights? Fluffy for the sub, Tweezy for the three. You've helped me through a lot of mental issues. A lot of mental issues. I look up to you. I hope you have a good day, bro. Thank you. Uh, and Julian for the three. You should do a tattoo stream one day. What, where I get it? Where I get tattooed on stream? That would be kind of cool. What tat are you getting? It's gonna, I mean, it'll be a surprise. I already gave some reference photos, but I'll show you guys the next day. I'll show you guys, I'm getting on on Thursday. I'll show you guys on Friday. Then you guys can fucking rate the tat. Uh, when is, what is South Park drop? Uh, there's a South Park game called South Park Snow Day that's coming out next Tuesday that we're gonna be playing. Uh, so in a week from today. I'll be streaming this Tuesday, obviously, because I'm live right now next Tuesday. Uh, and then next Thursday, I should be streaming as well, but this Thursday I'm off. All right, lock in here, chat. Uh, we're starting out with a FNAF horror video called The Horror Attraction. Description, through the tunnels they searched, flooding the labyrinth with lights, no voice they heard, not a soul in sight, not remnant found, gone with the traits. It's only a matter of time before they've forgotten his face. All right. Are we in the right category? Let me check. Yeah. All right.
How much money was raised for the charity? Five thousand dollars. Um, which was pretty dope. What happened to drug sim? Uh, I think they're dropping a drug sim too soon, so we're gonna end up playing that. Uh, when that drops. But I mean, we're gonna be waiting for that to drop. Uh, so that's when we'll play it. Jill looks baked. Dude, I've been live for fucking three hours. This video is actually terrifying. Are we ready to lock in here, chat? Who have seen who's seen it? It was actually almost 6k. How much did we raise, chat? I think it was like 5,800 for Palestine, which is pretty dope. It was the biggest uh, fucking charity stream we've had. Drug Sim 2? Yeah, no, Drug Sim 2 should drop soon. All right. Lock in here, chat. My fucking chat is glitching. Okay. Lock in here, chat. Lock in here. Lock in here. Okay. My, why is my chat fucking glitching? It literally will not load. Dude, why does it do this all the fucking time? L fucking Twitch. Okay. I refreshed it. Why do you such a, have such a veiny forehead? I don't know, man. I've always been like that. Genetics. Fluffy is for the sub. Big for the fucking 1,050 bits. Just joined a new restaurant, and there is a waitress who I really get along with because I always cook food with her, and she wants to... uh. I cook food for her when she wants, and she brings me drinks, and I want to smash, but she's the head chef's daughter, so what should I do? Head chef fired the last guy who made a move on her. Uh, well, you're either going to value your job or the relationship there. Uh, and I mean, you know, maybe he wouldn't fire you if he liked you as an individual, but uh, I don't know. You're going to have to fucking figure that shit out anyway. Uh, you're going to have to figure that shit out yourself. I don't know the the guy or them, so, you know. When's the next philosophy stream? We might be doing a half one on uh, Friday. All right, lock in. The horror attraction. Turn it down? It's not even, I didn't fucking press play yet. What do you mean turn it down? Is it that loud normally? It's fucking. This Halloween. Freddy's is having a grand reopening at the Washington County Fair. Relive the terrifying tales of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza at Fazbear Fright, the horror attraction. Tickets are now available at hurricanehaunts.com. Oh, fuck no. How do they film these, by the way? Like, is this actually filmed or all, like, generated with, like, an engine or something? Oh, that's not what happened. So apparently, they used a corpse as a decoration for the ride. You what? That is, like, so disgusting. Can you just, like, imagine, like, the smell? <laughs> yeah, it would smell like Count Barcelona over here from last Halloween. It was one time. Hope you girls went to the bathroom so you don't pee your pants. Shut up. George, hurry up. You're gonna slow us down with that thing. <sighs> Sorry. In this universe, is this at, is this like just around Freddy Fazbear in general and it's like a horror attraction? Or is this like Freddy Fazbear actually did come to life and kill people and now they made a fucking amusement park out of it? Whoa, sorry kid. It's only three per car. Ah, gay guys. Ah, oh my god, uh, Derek! Guys, what about George? No, oh, he's a big man, it'll be fine. So make sure you don't be Oh, fuck that. Oh, 
and they're actually gonna die, aren't they? This is gonna be like, see, that'd be fucking scary. Imagine going into an actual horror attraction and not knowing whether or not it's real. Now that'd be scary as shit. And this guy's alone in the chair. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what's the matter? I thought you wanted an audience. Oh, those are all the dead kids? <laughs> that one was not scary at all. You can tell Joe's scared when his uh, shoulder's facing the camera. All right, settle down, buddy. I'm not scared right now, but when I, if I'm, if I'm like uncomfortable from the video, yeah, I'm gonna turn away a little bit. You know, what do you want me to fucking? You want me to sit forward? Fine, fine. Fuck you, buddy. I'm not scared. It's not a fucking scary video. Y'all sit forward, dickhead. Fuck you. We would like you to join us for a. I honestly think I'd start tweaking. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 boy lovers. It seems like we're experiencing a potential code yellow, but in the event that this... Maybe, maybe say what the fuck the code yellow means. Imagine I go onto a fucking amusement ride. Hey, guy, hey, everybody. We might be experiencing a cold purple rabbit here. What the fuck does that mean? I'd start... I'd freak the fuck out. What do you mean code yellow? What the hell does that mean? And if it is, uh, actual cold yellow, I would probably get up and fucking run for your life because one of the animatronics just got possessed again and it's probably gonna kill everybody. That's all for now, folks. Look what- look up what code yellow means. What does code yellow mean? It, oh, in an amusement park? Code yellow amusement park. Ooh, code yellow is an alert system denoting a significant risk of an attack. I wouldn't fucking know that. If I'm sitting in the... I, I'll forget that in five minutes. If I'm sitting in an amusement park ride, they're like, code yellow. What the fuck does code yellow mean? Is the ride broken? Hurry up. Ah, great. Closed. Oh, and this is so awkward. You're just sitting right next to the animatronics. That's better than being in the fucking not lit room, though. Oh, God, but they're all just staring at you. I really should have just begged Vanity to come with me, huh? Oh, this is, this is, this is George from FNAF. It's not just a guy named George, because he said Vanny. These guys are freaky.
Oh, one of them's gonna turn. Stop. That's not what the ride door. Oh my god! That's not what the ride normally looked like. That's not what the ride normally looked like. It wasn't purple before, was it? I feel like my scream probably scared more people than the actual panning to Chica. Oh, fuck off. Like, dude, I barely even know what I'm looking at, and then it's just gonna, sh it's gonna be one of the fucking, th this looks like this would fucking close in on him and kill him. And now we arrive in the present, where the modern present has been awakened. Allow me to introduce to you the spring trap. <laughs> No one mentioned a drop. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? You did this for me. You're staying as this right. Yellow Bear has been dying to eat you. Yellow Bear? Oh! But it's not going to be the same. Something's going to launch at him. guys but where's spring trap Ooh! Ooh! he ain't there anymore he was there before he's not realizing that that would immediately make me start freaking the fuck out because he said welcome spring trap are you kidding me? Again? You put me through the whole ride again just to break down in the same spot? The second one uh, of those things moves, great. I would fucking shit myself. Now this is really not gonna wait for me. Oh, he's alone. I thought there, there was like people behind him or something. Wait a minute. Oh my god, that makes it so much more scary. <laughs> Fuck that. Yo, I thought it was gonna be like one of those Disney rides where it's like, there's like a bunch, yeah, there's like seats and shit. I thought he was just gonna be alone in his seat and like go, and he goes with other people, right? He's dead alone. That's ass. That's not even fun. That's just fucking scary. You're just going on an amusement ride alone and it's, it's you're just sitting there on like a fucking log flume. Something's going to be in the back. What is he zooming in on? Oh, uh, no, guys. Watch out for the black light. But... Oh, shit. Oh, another one came his way and nobody's in it. Yes. Just please let this end. Oh, shit. Nah, 
God, this shit's gonna start fucking clamping down. Those things are sharp. And now we arrive in the present, where the modern presence has been awakened. Allow me to introduce to you. He's not gonna be there. No, he's not there. He's not fucking there. He's not fucking there. He is not fucking there. He was there last time. Yeah, I'm about to hide behind the mic, chat. I'm about to hide behind the mic. It's getting too real for me. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't be stressed. Okay, just go on. Watch Rob and everything will be fine. I can't tell, like, when the camera glitches like that. Like, is he teleporting into a different, like, not dimension or something? Like, a different world? DB for the three. Don't read out loud unless you want to later. Uh, maybe, but I just don't really take raid requests when people ask me to raid them. Because then a lot of people want me to raid them. Scholar for the thousand biddies. Solid for the sub big for the thousand biddies. I'm a chef and I'm 20. I'm doing about, uh, doing it for about two and a half years now. And I was wondering if I could be your private chef. Buddy, I I would not I would not be expendituring while I would while it would be lovely to have a private chef. I would never be paying somebody to be my private chef. I would have to have a billion fucking dollars. Cameron for the sub Rex Arena for the five. Can I ask a question, Joe? Hey, Joe Rex uh, Haven for the sub Big Ash for the thousand fifty bits. Uh, I already read that. What? It reset back to 24. It was 35, now 24. Chat, what the hell do you mean 35, now 24? Okay, just go on. Watch Rob and... Oh, the camera! Will be fine. What? What? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! no. Is he just in a loop? Why wouldn't you get off the ride? Like, I'm getting up. Chat, am I, am I, I feel like the third time around, I'm going to say, all right, buddy. And I'm fucking standing up and I'm getting out of that fucking stupid chair. And I'm going to try and fucking find a, an exit. And go where? I don't know, dude. They probably fucking have something. Oh, but then you got to stand next to that guy. <laughs> Something's gonna launch at him. Oh, it didn't jump scare. You can't do this to me. You know what's wild though? If this was a real horror attraction, that would be actually fucking terrifying. Somebody redeemed that. Wow. It's actually a decent bet, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. It's scary, okay? Just get me off the ride. Oh, come on, please. I get it. Please stop. Killer Buddy wasn't in it first, right? <laughs> It's not too late. Go no. back. No. Please don't stop again. Please. Oh, please don't stop again. Oh, no, no, no. God damn it. They're moving. They're moving. They're moving. Get out of the ride. Yes. Get out of the fucking ride, dude. Step out of the fucking ride. And dip. An emergency exit somewhere. Oh, he just now fucking thought about this. Fuck those things. I'm pushing him over, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Hey! I swear if Derek is behind all this. It's gonna be locked. Anyone back here? Oh fuck no, it is pitch black back there. Fuck. 
Wait. What the hell? Get me off the ride. What? Did he just morph back onto the ride? Not fucking funny anymore. It's not funny anymore. Let me out. Let me out. That's like straight denial. What is he looking at them? I would honestly start tweaking, dude. London Bridge is falling down. Oh, is it not moving anymore? Oh, it's been like 20 minutes and it hasn't moved. Is it open again? Fuck. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, fuck no, bro. Oh, no. I Dude, I think I'd fucking start slamming my head against a wall. Oh, holy shit. In this scenario, I think I'm just gonna fucking end it, bro. Oh, wow. Nah, that's actually nuts. Yeah, nah, I'd fucking... Dude, that thing is gonna kill him. Is that Freddy? Fuck? No, it's not. Hey! Stop! Get back here and get me off this ride! That's horrifying. That one looked real, too. Fuck. Stop running away. It's gonna be behind him. It's gonna be behind him. Don't do this. No, no, no! Fuck! 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 I would be way more mad than that. I would be I would be way more fucking stressed. More so than ow oh, god, god damn it. Dude, you just saw fucking a live animatronic peek through the door and fucking slam it on you. Come on. He's trying to push it. It's been hours? Oh yeah, no, he's probably been here for like two hours. Why doesn't he get out before this section, though? He did. Nah, it's gonna be in the room. I'd be camping the door. Oh, no. Are they missing? 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 Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god, bro. Hey! Stop! What? What the fuck? It was a, it was a robot? Okay, that's definitely a person. <laughs> that is... That is... That? That? I'm not letting slide. What is that? That looks like a cloaked human. Oh god, it's the endos, dude. No, if this becomes like a thing where they fucking move when he's not looking at them. Another door. They're gonna move, bro. 
They're gonna fucking move. They're gonna grab him. That one right there. Oh my god, imagine it grabbed his arm. It's gonna teleport him back. I don't think he gets through. Dude, I'd be I'd be peeking behind me. None of it is real. It's nothing but props. Costumes. The camera's gonna glitch. What is it? I can't even fucking see. It's the ride. God, it's freezing in here. Are they gonna lock him in there? No. No. They're gonna lock him in there. Is it a freezer room? It looks like a birthday party. Oh, that's the pizzeria? There's a light. need Why would anyone need a s Oh shit Vanessa! Vanessa! Oh, that's definitely a skinwalker. It's a skinwalker. Vanessa! is coming out of it now nah, you gotta fight it you gotta fight it bro you gotta fight it you gotta fight it what? no come on please Can't get open. what is that Say, say hi to Spring Trap or something. He's gonna start running. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. It stopped. It stopped. It stopped. Not again. Wait. What? Where the hell am I? Oh my god, it's the end of the ride. But it's pitch black. I'm outside. Please. The timer stop, didn't reset, please, please, but everybody's please, not there. Please stop. Oh, do you think of the, do you think the ride may be closed? Maybe he's been there that long. Just get oh, out, dude. It stopped. I can leave. Holy shit, I can leave. Dude, I'd hurry the fuck up. That thing's waiting for you. Uh, hello? Fuck. No. No, shit. Shit. Now, why won't you just let me leave? Did he die? He 
died. Wow. No way. That was a good fucking video, though. That was creepy. Pringle for the sub. Somebody said worst jump scare. I don't really think it's about the jump scares as much as it is. It's just fucking creepy. You know? Damn, he has a lot of these, too. That one was really good. Oh, my God. Well, I think I've watched some of their other ones. Their other ones aren't bad, but, like, that one was really good. Holy shit. Can I react to your music? Not right now. W video, the lore is crazy. I would definitely watch some of their other videos. If you if you guys have any other their videos that are good, send those in the video suggestion tab. Uh, cause I don't know which ones of his are like, like that. Like that one was fucking amazing. Uh, all right. Let's watch a different one. Not a different video, but not FNAF related. We have an alter video here. I kind of need to scan this because I feel like it might be TOS. It's not age restricted though, so maybe it's good. Okay. Lock in. Pringle uh, for the fucking sub. Thank you for that. Uh, horror short film, Play Me. Lock in. Are you still doing backrooms with Max? We should be tomorrow. Let me check if he fucking answered. He said, yeah. All right, I messaged him. Lock in. Somebody redeemed flex. Lock in. We'll watch this. Uh, horror short film, play me. But that's tomorrow we're doing the backrooms. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Itch.io Horror, Roblox Horror, Escape the Backrooms Max. With Max. Thursday, I'm not live. Friday, I'm doing Reacts. Maybe Philosophy Reacts. Saturday's VR. Sunday's Reacts. Monday, we're doing Minecraft uh, Horror Mod uh, and the Media Switch Sports. Tuesday's going to be Snow Day, South Park. Wednesday's going to be Scary Games. Uh, and then next Thursday, we might do some shit with other streamers. Whether it be like Uno or Pummel Party or Hoophobia or something like that. But yeah, Shark for the sub. Uh, if you have any videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play... Video suggestion tab, same uh, game suggestion tab on Discord. Somebody said TOS. Well, one of you guys sent this in the video suggestion tab, and I just scanned it, and it doesn't look like anything's TOS. Like, what I, what I, what I mean by, like, scanning is, like, I'm just looking for, like, nudity, because that's usually, like, in some horror movies. Then again, new Twitch guidelines, am I right? New, new Twitch guidelines. Oh, let's go on Twitch.tv right now. What's, what's popping? What's popping on uh, Twitch.tv right now? Like, Strawberry Tabby titled her fucking stream Critical's number one fan. You know, this is on Twitch. You know, if this is on Twitch, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Shark for the sub. The jiggle machine? No, I don't think Strawberry does the jiggle machine. That was somebody else. Strawberry Tabby is the one that does Valorant uh with the multiple cams. I don't know if the jiggle machine girl's live. I don't think the Jiggle Machine girl's live. There's other streamers. There's somebody cosplaying as an Overwatch character. Somebody They always do Just Dance, too. That's, like, pretty common. This girl's playing Just Dance. I'm not showing this. Okay.
never understand when they have people adjust their mirrors in horror movies because you never need to adjust your mirrors after you adjust them one time. Like, I haven't gone in my car and done that with that mirror in a year. Like, you you never need to change that shit. I, it's, like, always, like, oh, they need to readjust it. And I know it's, like, a cool, like, cinematography thing, but it's just something you would never do. Amazing for the sub. Unless it's, like, an indication that somebody else has been in their car, maybe. Maybe that would be it. Rex Arena for the five. If somebody who tuned into the Savvy stream waiting for you, uh, if you're a hungry ass to go live, I can confirm it was jiggling. Lock in. Where is she? Hey. That's that's the reaction. That's the reaction we're we're giving this this person. You get in your car in the middle of the night and you turn around and there's a guy with a bag over his head and you go, Hey. Hey. Hey, why are you in my car? I would go, Oh my god! And then punch him in the face. Right. Just gets out of her car. Oh, you think she kidnapped the oh! guy? Anybody? Yeah, maybe she does know him. No, I don't think she does. I also think that guy is fake handcuffed. Maybe she doesn't know where she is. I think she also might have just woken up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think you just flooded the absolute fuck out of that. Y'all playing it? I feel like I'd have to, you know? There's a guy handcuffed with a bag over his head in the back of your car. Your car won't start, and you don't really know where you are. It's the middle of the night. I'd be like, dude, I got, I got, I got drugged. You know, you got to fucking figure it out. You're going to need to stay calm. Panicking won't help your situation. My name is Control Agent Elizabeth Armstrong, badge number 48625. You hear my voice? This is your voice. You recorded this. I know you're confused, but if you want to survive... Oh, shit! She does have amnesia. Like, she doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know who she is. She just fucking woke up. You need to do exactly as I say. There should be what looks like a person with you. Do not untie them. Do not look at their face. What's in that bag isn't human. If you see its face, you'll forget everything. Like wiping a hard drive. That's number one. Number two, find a pen, a reliable one. You can't trust your memory anymore. Your pen is your lifeline. You lose it, you're dead. Yo! This is the hard part. Inside your bag, you should have a weapon. If you're lucky, that'll be your service pistol, and this next part will be easy. If you're not, then you'll have to do it with whatever you can find. A I hammer? Know. Oh, does she gotta club him to death? I know. I'm sorry, Liz, but if you're... It ain't gonna start. Come on! Come on! I'm immediately killing that thing. If I play it, if I don't have any memory and I play a recorded message that I left for myself that the thing behind me is a demon, I'm immediately fucking clubbing that dude's head in. I'm not even looking under the bag. I'm just going to I'm just going to fucking do it. He moved. He definitely moved. Listening to this, it means containment has failed, and you're the last one left. If that thing gets free, it will kill you. It will kill everyone. I know you can do it, because you're me, and this is not how we die.
How did she fucking wipe her memory the first time, though? What did she do? Open the things at uh, fucking bag? She doesn't remember how she's here, but there's something behind her. Hello? Stop. Killing him. Killing him so fast, chat. Chat, if you hear yourself saying that to you. Oh my god. Hello? Hey, hey, stop it! Stop that! You feel that? You do that again, I hurt you. You gonna try and take it off? I can't do that. Can you open the window? I can't breathe. Only if you. The fuck is that gonna do, buddy? You have a potato sack over your fucking head. That's why you can't breathe, pal. Questions. I mean, he breathes like a person. Who are you? You don't have to do this. Do what? Just let me go. Answer my question or I'm rolling up the window. Who are you? I'm your brother. I don't have a brother. Cat! Cat! He said, I don't have a brother. You don't remember anything. How do you know that? How do you know I don't remember anything, hmm? <laughs> you forgot again, didn't you? Elizabeth, Liz, I'm not a monster. Why would you say that? Because you've done this before. You have a condition. I take care of you. We, uh, Yo, maybe she is just insane. Nah. Hold up. I'm still thinking he's a skinwalker. I think he's a little, little skinwalker, and I think he's trying to say that he's not a skinwalker, and I think she needs to kill him. She, uh, he, there's a picture of us in your back pocket. Oh no! No! You think he took a picture of himself and she's gonna lose her memory? That's us. You could have seen this. What? How do I know this is you? Just look at my face. I can't do that. You know I can't do Come that. Come on! Just look! Hey! Hey! Stop! Stop! I said stop! I said stop! Please don't do this. I'm your brother. Make me believe you! No. Make me believe you! No! No! Why are we why are we choking him to death? I mean, if we want to get the process over quick, what the fuck? We're going to strangle him? Maybe uh use a fucking hammer. I think that would be a bit quicker. Yeah, club him a few times like four swings. <laughs> You're not a secret agent. There is no conspiracy. It's just you and me, Liz. Please. Please. It's cold. Oh my god. I I don't know I don't know what to believe right now. You're gonna kill me. I feel like he should do better a better job explaining. Like I know she doesn't believe anything, but he should be like, You've done this before and like go in detail rather than just being like like all that he said right now, anyone could say. Like, like just a rant, not even a necessarily a, a highly intelligent fucking skinwalker. Like, any person could just be like, I'm your fucking brother, you know? I might have to. I don't think you will. Why not? 
<laughs> oh, the photo part. Person. Wait, what do you say? I might have to. I don't think you will. Why not? You're a good person. Wow, that pissed her off. Why do you say that? Because you closed the window. See, and then I hit him with this. And then I hit him with this. Die, you fucker! I'm going in blind. I'm going in blind on that one. Life or death. Life or death. A human. He locked the car. Why would you chase him? Why are your eyes open? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Her turning around like that, she's just going to look at his face. Why can't she look at him? It wipes her memory. If she looks at him, it, she immediately doesn't remember. It's like it's like men in black. You know how they do the thing where they go. Ksh, ksh. It's like that. Yo, what is she? I'm just getting back in the car. I'm getting back in the car. She looked at him. Oh, but do they get reset in time? Does he have to let go of her? There. Isn't that better? What are you gonna do with the hammer? I don't know. Do you think I could hold it? It's gonna say kill him. No. Did she do it? She don't even remember where she is. <laughs> she just killed this guy. The hammer said kill him. She's like, I don't remember anything. Fucking kills him. Okay, problem solved. She's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Her car won't start. She doesn't know who she is. <laughs> she's she's gonna die in the fucking in the desert. This is just, the problem's not solved, right? She just stepped on the recorder. <laughs> no, yo, it is so over. What the fuck do you do now? She doesn't even. Does she even know how to operate a car? That was such a fucking good video. Oh my god, I love that. Caleb Phillips. Wow, chat, chat. You know how I, you know how that you. I, I'm not saying you know how I knew this was gonna be a good film because I didn't read this. The other film they made on Alter, by far the best horror film I've seen in a fucking while. Other side of the box. It's the same person that made the other side of the box, which is like one of the best fucking horror short films I've ever seen. Robert for the three, Rex Reno for the three. Based off a true story, this happened to people. There were skinwalkers that wipe people's memories. Elon for the sub, Jazz for the sub. All right, chat. We're going to call that there.
W fucking stream. We're going to upload on YouTube right when I end. But um, hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. We had a great chat, great audience today. Uh, I'll be live tomorrow, 4.30 EST. We're going to be doing uh, Itch Horror, Roblox Horror, Escape the Backrooms with Max. Thursday, not live. Friday, we're going to be doing Reacts and Philosophy Reacts, maybe. Saturday is going to be VR Day. Sunday's Reacts. Monday is the Minecraft Horror and Switch Games, or Minecraft Horror Mod Switch Games. Tuesday's South Park, uh, Cole, or South Park Snow Day drops, so we're going to be playing that game. Uh, next Wednesday will be Horror. Next Thursday, we're probably going to do some games with uh, some other streamers. But yeah. Uh, if you have any games or videos you want me to react to, uh, games you want me to play, videos you want me to react to, exclamation point, Discord, video discussion, game session, tab, tie, find most of the videos that I watch and games that I play. Uh, tune in for the YouTube video. We're going to post that literally like five minutes after I end. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, 4.30 EST, for some um, scary games. W stream. I had a fun time fucking streaming. We had a great chat right on. Honestly, had a lot of people on the stream. Uh, thank you to everybody that follows, sub, donut, etc. And who do we want to raid? Let's raid somebody new. Points. Actually, Small Ant's doing the fucking, um, what's it called? Difficult game about climbing. We'll raid him. I, uh, give them Chad, a I'm good not stream, strawberry please. Be we'll raid Strawberry Tabby on a another day. When she's not as, uh, in as lewd clothing. I don't diss her streams, you know, it's fine. She can do whatever the hell she wants, but I'll raid her when it's, uh, when it's more of a chill stream, you know? Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll catch y'all soon. Uh, I hope you guys had fun watching. Tune into the YouTube video. Uh, I'm gonna post that in about five minutes, but yeah. Catch y'all then. We're going to rain in five, four, three, two, one. See y'all tomorrow.